Well, hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time, we are getting it all in The Gunk, a wonderful action adventure game developed by Steam World Games, published by Thunderful Games, and would usually be be, be available for £19.99, but it's free on Xbox Game Pass right now. So again, get your butt sacks on that. This is a Game Pass Challenge 4 for me so, as well, so I do hope this goes well. So we play as Rani, a Rani, sound proper, proper American, a tiny lady, or maybe she's a real life size in a huge world, whose ship ends up getting stuck and we have to go through this whole world getting rid of what can only be described as unwashed genital warts, sorry, um, which is actually the gunk we have to get rid of to enjoy the most beautiful enjoyment you'll ever enjoy. Now as for achievements and trophies, you get a few for story relation, few is the immiscible ones, but the main ones we need to worry about are scanning all items in the game, 57 to be precise, and collecting enough materials through the world in order to unlock all upgrades, so uh, make sure to follow the video very closely and listen to what I say. Also note there is no chapter select, but you can go back through the world with the beacon signals, and note too, try to get everything done before the games end, as afterwards there will be no more enemies to kill, so... We got that all sorted? Good. Goddamn good. So you'll be looking at around maybe four to six hours to complete this. Largely depends on how quick you get through some of the fights, although they are basically all as easy as hell. And with that being said then, ah oh crap, we've already begun. Well, let us begin. So we can just press the A button and the Y button to skip. We will be skipping uh, most of the cutscenes, most of the dialogue. Um, you can speak to our friend and a bunch of other people and stuff, but uh, you, we're not going to bother. We're just going to get through this game, get the achievements, and, well, you know, if you want to um, have a look and things like that, it's a very pretty world, but if you want to have a look, you can do that as well. Right, so we've got nothing to scan at the minute, but all you've got to do is press the right bumper as we go right and down here, and the first time we're going to do it is actually right now. So press the right bumper. When you get close to any items that are scannable, as you will see, a whole bunch of question marks will come up, and then eventually the thing will come up as well. Oh, there we go. So, a couple of question marks. That's when you know that you're onto something good. It's when you've got a few question marks, and the loading screen's at the top as well. So, that's the first one out of 57. So, again, just like the materials, just be aware, and, you know, just keep on um, listening and following where I'm going. Right, from there, we're going to go backwards on ourselves and go right. So we're going up the Rock of Life. Again, nothing to worry about, nothing to poop your pants over just yet. Um, this is, this does act more or less like a tutorial. And uh, I don't know what the hell's wrong with this chick. C come pick me up, damn it! And this is what I meant by unwashed genital warts. I, I will stop calling it that now. Uh, this is what I mean by the gunk. Um, yeah, you want to get that scene to right away if that's your problem. Uh, but you can, now... Like I said, through the gunk, um, through the game, we are going to be absorbing a lot of this. So just hold the right trigger. You can um, hold the left trigger as well. That sort of acts as like an aim assist if you wanted it on. Which, of course, I do. Because why the hell not? So as soon as you get rid of all the uh, gunk, this will happen. So basically, it comes as this like big beautiful piece of garden and then normally uh, obviously in the games in 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 a bit of the future anyway uh, just as we scan this pool so make sure to scan this pool got to do it anyway so that'll be a second scan out of 57 but every time we get rid of the unwashed genital gunk the gunk sorry we're going to see this whole beautiful garden appear and that is where a lot of the time we can collect a lot of the materials that we need as well. But again, we'll come to that in just a little bit later on. So from here, there's a little gap just in the wall. So uh, head through here and we're going to see a whole bunch of very nice things now. And once again, we're going to press the right bumper. And that will be the luminescent crystal. So that will be 3 out of 57 already. Now, a lot of these scannable items we're going to get quite early on, and then it obviously dies down as we go th th through the game a little bit more. Um, but just enjoy the linear path. And I'm not sure why, you know, all you've got all these tools on you and stuff. Why wouldn't you just take a bit of crystal? You could be making some Mintos off that. A nice little fortune. But, you know, since for some reason video game characters tend not to do that, well, that's just stupid. We were right there, why can't we just jump on the ship? Anyway, we're going round. Um, anything with these uh, sort of bits of green moss or... I don't know, it looks like somebody's uh, been on a four-day session and just spewed up on a rock for some reason. Just press the A button on it and uh, Rani 
will actually um, automatically jump up. So we're going to jump down, jump across. Again, not a lot to do. Um, you can have a look down there if you want, but there's nothing to look at just yet. We can make it through. And wow. Now, for some reason, this is the most hilarious thing I've seen in quite a while. I don't know why Ranny just bending over there is just hilarious. Now, you'll know when we're into a gunk area as well, when you've just seen these sort of red outlines. Um, so if you do get hit by an enemy, again, I'll cover this a bit later on, but if you get hit by an enemy, you can go outside of those red lines to regain health. But again, we'll come back to that a little bit later. So for now, be the best doctor you can be and clean up the unwashed genitalia. What? Sorry, I did say I'd stop, wouldn't I? Clean up the gunk. when it's gone. I hope it helps with the signal. Now, a lot of the time, the gunk will be in, you know, basically, you can't miss it, um, but sometimes it can be sort of stuck on a wall, so there may be times where you're thinking, I've got it all, but just have a look on, like, the outer outskirts of sort of walls and things like that. And that gives off this big... I, I don't know, that kind of looks like a giraffe tree or something. So anyway, that's the first chapter done already. Lovely. And now we're on to chapter two. And it's a beautiful world. It is. I, I tell you what, it is such an amazing world. But there's going to be a lot of scannable items that we're going to smash through immediately. Instead of trying to suck off our friend. <laughs> Sorry, Bex. Uh, we're going to scan her. So, hello, Bex. I'm Bex. I like getting sucked off by my friend's gunk thing. And then there's a robot called Kurt. Um, probably stands for Calatimus. Uranus rectal trauma or something so Bex and Kurt then we're gonna go ahead and scan the workbench inside our ship so make sure to scan that so that should be three for this area and just to the left is going to be the hydrophonics area as well so this little area with I don't know is that supposed to be cactuses or something in there who knows but it's a hydrophonics wall and we're gonna scan that one as well and that's all for this area but what we are going to do now is going to go on a little venture, have a little look around. Um, and the first thing we're doing is having a look at this big, chunky, ball sack looking thing. There it is. The Hycelium coil. So make sure to scan that one as well. Now, a lot of the times we'll be able to grab this off and throw it fantastically. But not yet. We've got to find 20 metal pieces first. So scan this big blue flower. That's the royal pan in the ass. And just next to it is going to be the next one, which is going to be the red cap. Whole bunch of magic mushrooms in the, in this particular area, which, well, I suppose we come down to the right area, didn't we? <laughs> right, so we're heading down. <coughs> Excuse me. Heading down and to the right. Um, like I said, we're going to have a wander around, but it's only to get things. We're not just doing, you know, wandering around for the sake of wandering around. Get the next set of genital warts here, the lump fruit. And what you can do then is press the right trigger and that will automatically scan, or that will automatically suck up. And that is your first um, set of materials. Again, we'll be doing this a lot, basically throughout the entire of the game. So now we can head into the cave. And there's going to be a lot of metal pieces. We need to find 20 metal pieces. And here's the first three. But before that, give it a good scan. And that is your brine anvil. So, strong men have uh, problems trying to pick this one up, but for some reason we've got a big sucky sucky thing to do it with. So, make sure to pick those up. Scan these sort of flowers which are behind it, which are called the squid lanterns. And we should get another upgrade unlocked as well. Um, again, there are only certain things that we can uh, scan and pick up and and suck off. This big metal piece, make sure to get that. The Sperry Light Analog, not Analog, and then make sure... There's always five metal pieces in there, so always make sure that when you've sucked off this big Sperry Light Analog thing, that you've got the five metal pieces. Uh, just turn directly behind you to grab another five metal pieces. And 
that should be that for this bit. Another couple of brine anvils there, another couple of metal resources on the right, and then we can jump on and move on. Now, like I said, this is a hell of a beautiful world, and for a lot of the time it is pretty linear as well. And I don't know if you can also tell, but I am quite ill at the time of this recording. Uh, this is the lump fruits, so make sure to get another five organics there. But don't worry, it may be COVID, who knows? But I promise you won't be, uh, you won't catch it from listening to me, so don't be scared, don't panic. <laughs> anyway, have a look at these metal pieces there, we should be able to grab another two pieces from there. And if we go around the corner, uh, well, not this um, pointless looking leaf, but just to the next of it is another one, and that is the Angel Colonel. The Colonel Kentucky of Angels, and again, we can pick up three fibers out of this. Make sure to grab those three, and then scan this, what is called a riser twine, or riser twine, or whatever. But what we can use it as is a rope. So press the Y button there to use that. Bloink! I, I, I assume that would be the normal noise for every rope getting uh, tugged down to the floor. Boink. But before heading down, there was a couple more metal pieces that I did miss. There we go. Turn around the corner and it's just on top of the uh, green spewy bit. I tell you what, a lot, of, a lot of these green spewy rocks. Somebody has had a hell of a night out. And then for some reason just left it on rocks. Dutter bar stools. Anyway, press the Y button there to jump down. We should now have all 20 metal pieces. There are another 5 metal pieces, which I forget about now. But for the achievement for upgrading everything, we'll come back to and grab it later on. For now, we're going to go into the ship, press Y to install upgrades, and get the glove grip soldering. The hydraulic braces for moving faster, we will get in just a little bit. But for now, we are going to get this so we can get the old, big old bow sack. Which is just a normal ball sack, nothing special about it, except when you um, chuck it in the pool of beautifulness, it grows leaves out of it. So you press the right trigger and hold the left stick in any direction to pull it out. So, <laughs> looks like a heavy sack as well. So you go around to where the uh, riser twine was, the rope, and then... Now, you can just walk into it, but if you press the left trigger to aim, and then the right trigger, that is how you would normally throw things in the game. So, now we're going on to this, and there's a whole another bunch of gunk that we're just going to uh, uh, grab on right here. But, like I said, now can you see what I mean by, is she just a tiny person living in an ordinary person's world? Or, is this a huge man's, woman's, everything's world? And we're just normal sized. Who knows? You can't tell. Uh, but to be honest, just for precision, like I said, I would always press the left trigger and then the right trigger. It just makes things a lot easier. So, when this bit is done, you could just see that tongue looking thing start to dis <laughs> dissipate there and become alive. So, give that a scan. And it's called the Fowl's Tongue. Right. Very nice. Very nice. So, that will be that one. What we're going to do is just head back. And we're going to nip back into the ship. But as you can see, I slightly edited that some. It's only because I was going on an apparent wild adventure by myself. Um, <laughs> so we ended there. I am going to upgrade the hydraulic braces just to make us run a little faster. So all you got to do then is just click in the left stick once and you'll be able to run faster. Just note every time you jump, you'll have to click it in again, etc. But eh, you'll know, you'll know what to do. So we're going to grab this big nutsack thing again. It's quite veiny. It's a... Uh, that many veins again you might want to go to the doctors so again press the left trigger to aim and then the right trigger to throw because of course we can't jump when something is this heavy in our hands i should know <laughs> wink wink i lie uh all lies and then what we're gonna do we're gonna slam it in oh what a shot mate get in there okay now what you can do is try not to be as moronic as me and try and just get up onto the platforms in one fell swoop that would be awesome um because for some reason throwing throwing the big nut sack in the pool was no problem but jumping up on the pads was the worst part of it for me so anyway we're going to jump down there is gunk here but what we're going to do is there's a little a little um crack in the wall right there so just underneath easy to miss we're going to go under this and run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a ginger man. And just to the right of it there, we've got a couple of um, materials and things for us to grab. So three metal. And there is going to be yet another different looking sat nut. Sack nut. 
Um, so we're going to give that a scan. And this is another one. This is the tape trunk. And once again, if you... And just like the other nutsack, you can't actually um, suck it up. What you have to do is actually pull it off, just like with the other one there. And what that'll do is go, blop, lovely. And then we can suck it up. Now, usually, you won't, you should always get eight amount of whatever it is. So, fibres, organics, whatever. Uh, so, you should have picked up eight bits of fibres there. So, that's it for this area. We can just head back down. And you know what to do, baby. Gunk, gunk, gunk up the spunk. Sp oh. I tried to promise myself I wouldn't um, change the G for the SP, but um, apparently I did just there. Anyway, get rid of the old Gunkenhausen. Who is leaving all this stuff about? Well, I guess that's why it's a video game, and I guess we'll find out later, but beautiful lushness about. Now, take a look behind you. Take a look at these mushrooms that were definitely not there before. They could be magic, but in fact, they are lunar stools. So they're basically big mushroom poops. So jump on them anyway, and we're going to go to this secret area, which obviously was n not that secret. Jump down. We've got a couple of things we can grab in here. Now, a lot of the times, you can tell which ones are you want to grab, because, of course, they are floating in gold... Uh, Ignus. Floating in goldness. Um, so, yeah, you'll always be able to tell what you can grab. So, should I grab three fibers, five organics from the uh, ground, and then another two fibers from there? And that's it for this particular area. Uh, yep, that's it. So, I mean, it's always worth just double checking just to make sure that you haven't missed anything. Now, there may be ones again, uh, just as we head down here, make sure to pick up these three metals. There may be ones that I've actually missed, which you may actually stumble upon. So, if I do miss some, let me know. But make sure to grab literally everything that you can find. Um, but again, it, it gets to a point, uh, just as we move forward, again, we need to get rid of the old gunk and spunk and junkin. Uh, but there is, when we come to it, um, I actually need to get a, a little bit more metal. I think it's like 12 more metal or something. But the last area has a lot of... Of materials that we can grab. So again, if you get to that point, do not worry. Again, we'll just come back to that later. I'm kind of getting a little bit ahead of myself for now. So for now, get rid of the old uh, UGWs. <laughs> it's so pretty and witty and bright. My singing is just as fantastic as this game. Actually, no, I won't compare. This game is actually very, very good. Right, jump down. <laughs> Apparently, Rani's little tiny legs can handle it. Grab the three fibers. But before going into the blackness, wholeness of descentness, turn around and go behind you. Um, I thought there was some more there, but there's not. But jump in on these uh, mushroom poops. Jump in and climb through this hole. And again, break your little ankles on the way down, but there are a few things that we're going to grab. First thing first, go to the left and around, and there is another bunch of carrot, four of carrots sticking out of the ground. Jump on the old mushroom dumpsters, on the old spewy rock, jump behind. Again, try and do it a lot better than I did. <laughs> if you can, that would always be handy. <coughs> Excuse me, blighty Jesus. Again, don't worry, you will not catch my AIDS um, that I apparently have in my throat. So, grab the five um, bits of fibre from on top of there. And now we can just move on and go into the blackness of descentness of wholeness. To the left. Take it back now, y'all. But one little tip that I can give is when, when if you do need to run from one rock to the other, make sure to do like a little bit of a sprint first and then jump. That just makes it a lot easier for you. So, welcome to the fungal jungle. Again, that doesn't make it... Any less weird, it's like as if somebody had those cheesy fungal toes and decided to go on to, uh, you know, one of those embarrassing body shows where everyone's eating their tea at 6pm. Yeah. Right, so anyway, again, at the minute, get rid of all the gunk from here. Now we've uh, come face to face with a new enemy. It's an enemy that we can't shoot or kill or anything until we get rid of all the gunk. And again, try not to go too far into the gunk, because, you know, death, etc. But make sure to scan this boy. This is a gunk dripper. <laughs> the old spunk dripper. Uh, sorry. 
the old gunk dripper. So basically all he does is give off this little piece of turd that he drops on your head. Which of course can hurt you, so I wouldn't bother doing that. So this is, <laughs> for some reason, this is one of the first times where I really struggled to get all of the gunk and wonder where the hell it was. And I'll show you exactly where it is now. Um, so give yourself a little, <coughs> little bit of space, jump over. And then what you're going to see is a little bit of an edit skip. Because on the same rock that I am, there is another bit of gunk just underneath the wall. There it is. That is one that I missed. And it's very easy to do that. So again, just make sure, um, you know, when you're getting everything, have a look at all the rocks and in all the crevices as well. All the nooks and crannies. So that gets rid of the gunk dripper. And then again, we move on. And we immediately come up to another thing to scan on the left hand side is this bit of vine beet. Vine and Beetenhausen, so basically beetroot, yeah? Happy days. There's a couple of organics there. There should be three that you just picked up. Two on the left, one on the right. So make sure to pick that one up. And then we can just carry on. And look at that. Some more UGWs. Disgusting, mate. Who keeps leaving this crap here? And this is what I mean then. So rather than try and jump once, just go back, give it a sprint, and then jump, and you should make it fine and dandy so again there is a lot of gunk here and there's also going to be some um in fact no there's not going to be any underneath the caves because we're not at that part of the game yet which would obviously happily make sense so this is the uh, final part again trying to afford the old uh, gunk and spunk and dripping uh, you don't want that stuff landing on your head especially in your eyeballs because that'll probably burn it to death kind of like bleach uh, but anyway, once we've got this last bit of gunk done, we're going to go for another scan of light up directly behind us. And, well, guess what these looks like? Yes, the whale jaws. <laughs> Funny enough, that's exactly what it looks like. So, very, very bountiful, very nice. And that is another item scan. And, of course, we get everything that's alive in this little area now. So, to the right here, make sure to pick up the four bits of organic. You can't pick anything up off the old whale jaws, which is a shame. Uh, but what we can do, grab the ball sack, jump over onto this big pillar thing, and then just stick it straight inside of the wall. And that's good enough for us to jump across and jumping up. Spiry Rock, get rid of that. That's just a whale draw, it's exactly the same thing that we just scanned, so you don't need to do that. We can just carry on heading down for two seconds, and then press the Y button to use the rope. Jump down. Again, we've already scanned it, so again... Be as less moronically douchebaggery as me, and don't scan everything that you have scanned. Uh, don't go all the way down just yet. <laughs> Make sure to jump up here. And then we're going to jump up on Spool Rockle. Nice. See? Life is going just fine. Just fine. Go to the left, and directly to the left, you can see another three pieces of organic that you can see. So make sure to pick them up. Before where we're going to head this time, we're heading directly behind us into this cave again. Um, this is exactly like the old nutsack, so make sure to scan this boy. This is a jeweled apple. Again, try and take a piece off. Um, <laughs> make sure to pick up the eight metals. But again, in the real world, you would put a piece in your pocket and sell that on for mega bucks so you could be rich. But again, video game characters don't do that for whatever reason. So when you're down here, uh, now we can start heading down. Basically, there's some weird unicorn giraffe looking thing. I don't even know, but some kind of animal in this world that we're going to try and save because we are the boys of life. Uh, when you head down here, make sure to go to the right. Uh, pick up the three fibers sticking out of the ground. Now again, you don't have to get exactly every single material as I do, but it does help a lot. Uh, because if you end up uh, missing the achievement for getting all the upgrades and you don't get enough materials, you actually have to go through the whole game again. And that is just one... Well, in fact, you don't have to. You can come back through here if you wanted. Right, here are the first bunch of enemies in the game. They're called Gunk Critters. Now, what we're going to do is go for the first achievement. And that is for uh, just basically standing near this cliff edge. And one will just fall off. Now, again, you can probably do a lot better job <laughs> of doing it than I can. But you need to stand directly on the edge. And eventually, one of them will just fall off. And die, and that will be that. We could also need to scan one of these gunk critters as well, so make sure to scan that. There we go, so that's the charge off achievement. The gunk critter scan done. And the best way to kill these is just press the right trigger to um, suck them up. In fact, I'll just die here. Yeah, I'll just die here. Um, 
Okay, that's a great um, Metal Gear Solid reference right there as well. Can't beat a Metal Gear Solid reference. Um, so yeah, so what you should have got then was the charge off achievement. Again, there are plenty of opportunities to get it uh, throughout the game if you didn't get it there, so do not worry. Um, make sure, of course, to scan one, so that's already scanned. But the best and easiest way to kill these is the right trigger, pick them up like you would with the gun. Left trigger to aim and then throw it to hold. Now, what I'm trying to do is actually throw one at another gun critter for another achievement. But I actually end up missing that one. So, don't worry about that one. We'll grab that one a bit later on. So, um, any of these gun critters, I would personally just throw on the ground near you. Because you see that little purple thing, which is just by the gunk there? That is actually another piece of material that we need. It's called alien. Just called alien. So, try not to do what I just done there. And <laughs> throw in Mega away. Uh, but again, there are, there will be enough enemies throughout the game, because that's the only way you can get them, by killing enemies. But there should be enough enemies through the game to get this bit of alien material in order to get all the upgrades. So, eventually, I mean, eventually I'm going <laughs> to take a look at it. And this is what I mean. So, you see me glowing green right now? Because we've come out of that gunk zone, now I am regaining the health. So, if you ever... Uh, feeling a little bit low on health or you think holy crap I'm going to die just go outside of the gunky red zone and you will regain your health and get back into battle sir so and also you just seen on screen there I picked up the purple little alien thing so again the only way you can get any alien material is through uh, killing the enemies so get rid of the old gunk and house and trousers life here than we thought Bex I've encountered animals now what I do love about games is when they say follow something but it's always complicated as hell anyway directly behind you there on this sort of uh, middle rock area should be three organics so make sure to grab them why is everything complicated as hell in video games anyway jump over the rocks um, I think you die if you go into the water um, I never actually did uh, in fact, you don't actually die, you just respawn literally on the same part, so that's all good. Uh, get rid of the old um, gunk again, only a little bit here, so nothing to worry about. Right, that's Grand Obini. So, a few things on the left-hand side on this rock. Grab another couple of pieces of metal after giving it a scan. So, scan that, and that'll be the smoke shard. That should also get us the energy lure upgrade unlocked. So, as long as you've been following along, you should be on exactly the same path that I am right now. Right, grab the old Nutter Butter ball sack right there. Throw it over onto the rock again. We can't be jumping with it. So jump, Willsy Axe. Jump to the moon. And only people who know South Park will get that reference. Go for it, Willsy Axe. Right, so now we're here. Chuck it into the energy fisher pool. And we will come back to that a little bit later on. So now we've got a way to go to follow the animal. But what we're doing is heading down underneath all the pretty flowers and whale jaws heading into this little bit of area and scanning this bell pepper oh sorry uh, fun funnel peppers or whatever the flub they're called the red hot fungal peppers nice <laughs> the worst version uh, the <laughs> worst cover version so from every time you see a fungal pepper you will get five um organics or fiber sorry I forget which one even though i've just seen it on screen and now we can head back grab another one of these nut butter ball sacks right here Again, you will get a bit more dialogue than I do, because I edited it quite poorly, sorry. Uh, throw it over, because there is going to be another energy fisher pool for us to stick it in. If you do miss, um, you can just throw it back in, so you, you can never really miss. Jump up on the old spewy rock, and there are another couple of things that we can grab, material-wise. Bit of treasure there, so a nice bit of fibre there. Have a look at the top right-hand corner, and there's going to be some five organ wicks. And that should be that for this bit. So now we can just jump back down. And that's what happens in a lot, of the, a lot of time in this game. You end up doing quite a lot for like five or six bits of fiber. And yeah, I mean, well, it's got to be done, hasn't it? So anyway, heading back here. This time we're going to the left because there are more items for us to grab. A couple of pieces of metal there. So that'll be three. Jump down. And now this is what... 
Uh, this is what an, <laughs> an unwashed nutsack looks like. So, if you ever think, oh, mine looks like that, go to a doctor, buddy, because yours is literal fungus. But anyway, scan that, and then <laughs> when you... Sorry. <laughs> Jesus, I am just... <laughs> this whole illness is killing me off. So when you uh, grab that, make sure to pick up the eight organics after you scan that. And that should be that for this area. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Again, don't worry, you should not. You won't be able to catch the uh, AIDS that are lodged in my throat right now. So you should be good. Um, right, jumping back over the rocks. <laughs> oh, boy, this is hard. Jumping up, and now we can just jump across. Now, I actually failed these three times. But this is what I mean by doing the sprint, the jump... And then you should do it. For some reason, I forgot that myself and kept falling like an absolute douchebag. Right, jumping up. There are some more f uh, red hot fungal peppers there. So make sure to grab the five fibers out of them. And just glidingly, lovingly glow, go, go across the rock. And just as you can see there, we can see another one of those um, ball funguses. We'll call it. Yeah. So make sure to pull that. Grab the eight organic that comes out of it and just carry on. Carry on going straight. As you can see, there's another four metal pieces for us to grab. Very nice. Oh, I thought I missed that one then. Thought I missed that like complete moron. <laughs> Carry on going straight for the time being. Now, the other side, um, you did see like a rope we could climb down. We're going to come back to that in just a little bit. We're just grabbing a whole lot of everything first. So, climb down this rope. Have a look behind you. And, oh, look at that. Metal ball. Pull that, and of course, make sure to grab the <coughs> all of the metal. I'm so sorry for the coffin. It probably sounds very unprofessional, and you're probably already annoyed at it. I am as well. All right, climb back up. Jump back on to throw up rock. And just on the left-hand side is some more red-hot fungal peppers there. So another five fibers for us. And this time, we can now use the rope and jump back down. And now we're just back in the same area um, that we just were. So now this time from here, we're just going to go directly left. We're going to jump down this rope once again. River. Oh, well, somebody needs a clean. And as we can see there, we've got quite a bit of gunk to clean up. Um, so just avoid all the gunk drippings. And you should be okay. Again, if you do get hurt, badly hurt, just go outside of the red zone and you'll heal up nicely. Just like in real life, right? <laughs> Round. And there we go then, back into the beautifulness. When injured, leave the corrupted area to restore health. You literally could have told me that earlier on, but that's okay. We've already got a game, so thanks for that. Right, jump up onto two throw-up rocks. There's a whole bunch of gunk that we cannot get through, so we're going to have to jump down. Are you ready, tiny legs? Then let's do it! Jump down! Don't break your ankles! Don't die in the gunk! So even when ill, my Scottish accent is on point. Right, Scottish people? I'm cool. Am I cool with Scotland now? Yeah, yes. Right, again, try to avoid the gunk trippers. Uh, just get rid of the gunk. And there's going to be a whole bunch of crap we can collect in this area as well. I say crap, but it is a lot of crap. Because uh, where is she putting all this stuff anyway? That's one <laughs> big infused inventorial arm. So don't go the way I was just going there. Because we do have a lot of things in this area to collect. So the first things first, go back up onto throw up rock one and two. And now we can go across the fowl's tongues. Beautiful. And to the left, there's going to be this little gap that you could just see, which we are going to head down. But just keep going straight for now. And we're going to see a whole bunch of stuff that we can grab. So, a couple of bits of organic. That'll probably be nice, like broccoli. Um, and just this big chunk of spoil, which will give us a whole another bunch of organic, I assume. Nope, fibre. <clears throat> so there you go. It's like... Having a having broccoli on your Weetabix or something. Ah, I am so health right now. Yeah, but I'm actually spewing it up. That's where the thrower brock comes into it. People are having... <laughs> these creatures are having uh, broccoli with Weetabix. Not surprised. So that's it for that area then. And now we can just head on through to the new area. Left hand side here. Get the red hot fungal peppers. And there is going to be some more Gunkenhausen for us. Um, so... There is a particular pattern I will show you right now. Sorry, I went through that a little bit quick. But basically, the first and third one drop down twice at the same time. The middle one drops down once. So, 
There we go. Hopefully you should get through that with ease. Otherwise, cheese your way through the Gungan Hees. sticking all this gunk ranny ranny come back here right so what we're going to do is turn directly around and we're going up to here and die um, but like i said every time you fall off any kind of platform you literally just start at the exact same point which is very very nice of this game but as we jump up onto this next uh, rocky platform like grab another three metals there and grab another five just on the rock below it as well again lots and lots of stuff we need which is always fun in a game isn't it explore everywhere just sometimes you just can't be asked okay we followed the animal here he is what the hell is that supposed to be it looks like his head's too heavy for his neck which is uh, basically like every steroid head in the world too big a head for that body boy right another whole bunch of gunk for us to uh, crack out uh, so oh yeah I'll do it Now this is another part for me where I actually miss a little bit of gunk and I will show you exactly where I miss it just so you don't make the same mistake so I get all this bit right mia. but it is the next bit which is on the roof so just past this gunk dripper there's a whole n another bunch of gunk I actually miss a little bit on this um, part of the ceiling slash roof whatever the hell and you could probably already see so I've just gone and left that one there so make sure to grab the bit off the ceiling and then we and then go ahead and move on in between these caves, smash the rest out, and job's done. I'm trying to avoid you the, the frustration what I was getting, having to look around for about 12 minutes. I'm feeling very stupid at the end of it. So the only bits are just missing these gunk drippers and jumping onto the next platform. And as you are going to see, I edited it out. So it's still, <coughs> excuse me, we are still in the same area, but I'm just showing you exactly where I missed it. <laughs> like a complete loser. <coughs> ah, welcome back to the fray. Right, so finally, after about 10 minutes of going, where the flipping hell is it? Jump back into the cave anyway, as soon as we are done with all that. And there is a whole bunch of metal. I say a whole bunch, there's five. Five metal on the wall for us to collect. And that's about it for this area. But again, it's very easily missed. Because it's something that you just wouldn't think. Little areas only have like two or three fibers. But it's areas where, again, you wouldn't think to go. Because you it just looks like pointless crap. Right, grab the old genital right here. <coughs> and then give that the throw of life into the old energy fissure. Where old steroid animal neck is. That... That, I, don't, I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to sound like. Right, before moving on though, again, we're just going to grab a couple of things. So directly behind you, there's a couple of fibres to grab. If we head to the left, next to these whale jaws, a little secret entrance for us to jump in. And we are going to uh, smash this one up, grab another eight fibres. So it will always be eight in those little balls. Uh, so make sure to grab those. Before moving that way, if you head um, sort of to the left of the entrance of the caves... Is this another little area for us to have a look in? So there's another three fibers sticking out of the ground, two or three. And that's that then. That should be that now for this area. So 
In fact, no, it's not, because we've got a couple of things up there. So, what we're going to do is go to the right here, get up onto throw up rocks. Sorry, almost steered you wrong. God damn, I'm so sorry. Go to the right, and we can um, pop this down. We'll be coming back um, here, back and forth anyway, for the for the time being. Whole bunch of metal on the wall, which again, we cannot grab yet. So, do not panic your bundle snatches off about it, please. It would be very nice. <clears throat> So jump back up onto throw a rock by the entrance of the cave and grab this uh, another veiny bowel. And we're going to be doing quite a bit of throwing without exploding. That's, uh, well, that's impressive. A lot of touching and stroking without exploding. God damn, that's mighty impressive. So <laughs> chunk, jump it up to throw up rock one and two. And again, you should know where this is going. Give yourself the old basketball LeBron. LeBron James of life. There we go. Hell of a throw. We are just... Ugh, I mean, I'm just a legend. Legend of basketballing. Except I've never played a game in my life because my legs hurt. Right, going through the cave, we're going to see another three organics that we can grab. Again, if you do get a little bit paranoid that you haven't scanned everything, obviously it's always worth scanning it just in case. This is a new thing that we can scan, though. The tail hive. Um... Again, it looks like <laughs> it does look like it's something that could attack you, but instead we attack it. Grab the five things out of there, and to the left, grab the three pieces of metal as well. Lovely. Right now, we can just head back through the cave, and we can move on from this area. All righty, mate. So if you just head to the right. Sorry, I don't know why I accent my life up. So head to the right anyway, grab another couple of organics that are sticking out of the ground. And this time we can jump up onto the platforms or the big magic mushroom things, because they literally are magic mushrooms. And now we can climb up where we couldn't get before. Jump up. Ah, oh, you stupid. Okay, luckily, <laughs> luckily for us then, we get a second chance to not mess that one up. Right, make sure to grab all five pieces of metal there. Again, very easily missed as you just um, try and strike forward with the game. But grab the metals, jump up onto this area. And grab the old fungal ball sack. Oof, and it's the noise as well that does this. But if you've got a ball sack looking like that and makes the same noise, well, you're going to have to chop that one off. That's done for. Uh, so pick up the eight organics, go over here, grab this one. There's going to be another eight fibers for us to grab as well. Ah, lovely. Now we can just go off this rock to the left and just jump onto the next part of the rock as well again if you do miss it um you can just jump back onto the magic mushrooms uh, where the energy fisher was and job's done right so the uh, steroid infused big head to big head for his body animal is being harassed sexually harassed by these gun critters and i will not stand for it this is 2022 bro we're not that kind of era anymore we're a good era now so, nothing here, but what we can do then is, well, we're going to gun critter the crap out of these gun critters. So, make sure then, if you can, i just about done it as you can see. So, pick one up, make sure to aim at it, try and get it when he is standing still. Um, it may take a few tries, but again, do not panic if you don't get it yet. There are plenty of opportunities throughout the entire game to get that achievement. So, just pick one up, and, so yeah, so... It's always worth, they do move, but they do stand still for quite a bit as well. So pick one up, make sure the, the other one is standing still, and then throw a gun critter at it. And then that should get you that achievement for throwing a gun critter at another gun critter. So again, apologies that that was kind of a bit fast, but you know, gun critters want to try and eat my butt. And I ain't letting no one eat my butt. No other stuff that it comes out of there. Um, <laughs> no, but you don't want gun critters eating you, but that is how you do that achievement anyway. So again, if you don't get it now, no panic. There are plenty of these little douchebags to go uh, for the rest of the game. So, make sure to grab the uh, five lump fruits right there. Um, as we, before we continue. And then just head up onto the foul tongue and jump over onto this rock. I oh know, bro. We got zoos back home, bro. To the right there, you can see another bunch of fibers. Three fibers for us to grab. Mate, the animal's probably fine. It didn't even do anything then. It just kind of... It just ran away anyway, so... Yeah. Right directly in front of us, as you can see, another tail hive. So kill that one off, you disgusting human being. And before heading to the right here, if we just keep on heading straight and sort of slightly to the left there, we can see another bunch of whole bunch of metals on the wow. Death to all but metal! Well, maybe not. 
death to all but metal, we still need all the fibre and organic and stuff. So anyway, as we jump down, head to the left now, underneath this big tree trunk looking thing. Lovely. Good spinning. Right, head to the right, and you're going to see a couple more fibres, organics. <laughs> Close enough organics to pick up. And heading back through, and into the cave, into the darkness of hellness. And still we remain in the fungal jungle, so lots to get through. So let's just crack on then, and um, we're going to get a cutscene again, which we can skip. Old uh, Roy Giraffe, okay. Cockatoo, Peacock thing. Yeah, you look... I mean, what the hell are you supposed to be? I don't know, but still. Uh, we are actually coming up to the end of the chapter now, so straight in front of us, uh, we're going to see some red-hot fungal peppers. So make sure to grab them, that should be ten there for you. And we have now found a new location, the Ruined Gateway. Wow. Well, from one mysterious landing, we have finding all types of crap. Anyway, get rid of the old uh, gunk and spousen. There we go, only a little bit there. Nice. And now we can actually just carry on, go under. I get a row. A row. 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I've done that. It's still hilarious to me. Right, so left-hand side and the right hand, you've got a couple of organics to pick up. Pick up the three there, and then we can move on from here. We can go to the right. Now, as you can see, jump up a couple of rocky old platforms, and we are going to see... Uh, me uh, not metal nuts. Yeah, metal nut sack, sorry. Metal bowl. So make sure to pick up the eight pieces of metalinium. And there is... Uh, if we jump down straight in front of us, there is another three metals for us to pick up as well. So, well, we're going... Quite strong right now. So from here, we can now just jump down, go straight and jump down. This isn't a particularly big area, but we are going to see our first beacon signals and get a few more scannable objects now as well. And again, this is a new day and my um, AIDS illness isn't going away. My throat AIDS illness isn't going away. So you'll just have to put up with it, I'm afraid. Right, so grab the three fibers there from by the rock. And then we can scan this little alien inscription type thing. Um, so, yeah, cheers, Bex. Thanks, you awesome piece of hunky-gunky. Right, so from here, if we just head and have a look at the door, this big old door right here, um, scan the bottom of it. And this is what's going to get us another scannable item. Again, there are plenty of these through the game, but might as well just get them out of the way now so you don't forget it and have to replay the whole game or anything like that. So scan the Ruined Gateway. And then what we can do is try and jump up on these flowers or something here. And you see that little light at the bottom of it? Or the top of it even? Now we can give that a scan. And that will be the photosensitive uh, trigger. Uh, which basically means we can shoot crap at it. And then the uh, gate will open. So that should be three right there. Now what we can do is head up here. That's what we're going for. The um, beacon signal. So jump up on this rock. Jump up on this old uh, magic platform mushroom. And then climb up. Another two things that we can scan right here. So go over the bridge. Try not to fall. Because I know people are super paranoid about bridges like that. Um, uh, scan this inscription. This alien monument. Again, there's another couple of these that we have to scan. And then if we look directly to the left of us. There is the beacon signal. So before using it, we can give that a good scan. And well, lo and behold... Now, this is what I mean, by the way, with the beacon signals, um, where there's no chapter select, but what we can do is use these beacon signals to go to differing points in the game and go through um, each area that way. So, that is what we'll have to do if you end up missing something or if you need extra materials. But again, following this guide, hopefully you shouldn't need any extra materials and you should be as golden as nugget bows. So, what you can do is obviously head back to the campsite. Uh, press Y to use it, go back, uh, press A by using the campsite, and now we're on chapter 3. Delishimando, mother fricando. Right, so we'll get an achievement, that's another story related achievement then. You can install some upgrades if you so wish, but um, I don't necessarily do a lot of upgrades until we go ahead, uh, we can do the pulse cannon now. Um, we need the pulse cannon anyway, we have to do this one. But in terms of a little bit later on, I don't get many upgrades until we get the Plasma Cannon, which we don't get till Chapter 6, uh, which is for another achievement. So we just get that one out of the way early. But again, of course, this is up to you. It's your gameplay, your walkthrough as well. So if you want to get them all, like I've got five right here, and that gives us the all-in-five achievement. 
Um, but again, if you don't want to waste your materials yet, you, you don't have to, but... You know, if you've just done all the five that i just done there, the ones on the top, that'll give you the all-in five achievement. And we, um, well, we've got a nice couple of upgrades to go. So, cheers, Bex, from whatever you just said. You stay here and, you know, I'll do all the friggin' hard work. But, uh, right, before using the beacon signal, go ahead and scan the portable stove just to the right of this. And there we should be good to go. That's right, Bex, I'll just go and kill myself while you'll just stay here with... Um, what was his name? Kurt, the... Let's try this. Come under the retina titular. Ah, I, I already forgot what he's called. Anyway, from here, we're going to right, and we're going underneath. A little nice hidden area, basically underneath this big alien monument. So go ahead, skinny legs, jump down, turn around. <clears throat> and as you can see, there's a nice couple of things, which again, are so easily missable. Um... And it can be very frustrating if there's little things like this you've missed and you are needing quite a lot of materials at the end. But again, hopefully you're following the guide and you should be okay. So there was three organics um, underneath that one. And then we come out the other side, climbing up the rope. We get rid of this old genital ball. Or this old water ball right there. That should give us another eight organics. And then we can just jump down. Happy as Larry. Now, of course, what I forgot to mention was if you press the left trigger and the B button... Sorry, that is how you use the <laughs> that is how you use the pulse cannon. So apologies, almost forgot about that one. But uh, yeah, um, so in terms of um, aim aiming and aim assist and stuff like that, it should be set on automatically. Uh, should be automatically set on basically automatic, obviously. So what you got to do is just um, hold the left trigger and it should aim the enemy, or you can just snap it to each enemy anyway. So still easy enough. Still can't be, uh, still can't be beat. So, nothing here in the minute. We're just going to carry on going forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> you ain't catching COVID from me. <laughs> I swear you got it from someone else. You probably got it from that orgy in that pub. Uh, right, so when we go to the other side, <laughs> you see these uh, three bits of organic. I see ya. I see what you're doing, you dirty bar stools. Right, turn around. And there is the photosensitive trigger. Give that a shoot. And again, if you haven't scanned it, again, there are plenty of these uh, throughout the game anyway. So the gun's getting a bit of a, a brain, even though it's got no brain. Getting a bit of a mind of its own right here. So be careful here. We do have these gun critters. Again, if you don't have the achievement for throwing one gun critter into another... Uh, you can do it now, but of course, try and be a bit more careful than I was. Uh, be, I, I've already got the achievement, so I'm being a bit wienerish with it, to be honest. Uh, but there should be four there, so again, that's just if you haven't got the achievement, if you have. Anyway, just kill them. Get rid of the flying gunk. Delishmo! <laughs> Excuse me if you are hearing the cough. Very uh, professional of me. Right, on the right-hand side, we've got four fibre that we can pick up. Like I said, every time we do this, we go, there's always going to be uh, bits for us to pick. Uh, go to the left side of this pipe, and we're going to see another couple of met met metalaniums. Death to all butt metal. Death to all butt metal? And if we start walking up to the right, uh, you're going to see another big sperry light analogue with another five metal in it before we can move on. Uh, but before going up to the right-hand side on the platforms, go underneath here, underneath this little archway, and grab the old nut and butter ball sack. In fact, we need to do that anyway, because we need to throw it in here, and get out these magic platform mushrooms. Get up onto throw up rock, and that should be our exit down to the side. So just having a little look, because again, it's always worth just having a little look before you move on. Again, you can come back here at any time anyway. But it's always worth having a look just to see if you've missed something or there's something glittering in your, in your eye that you may have missed. So, get back through to the hell dark hall. And here is one of our first main areas where we've got to do quite a few puzzles and things like that. Um, all the puzzles in this game are very easy, but, you know, just... I'll take a talk you through them anyway. So from here, we're going to go to the right, and then right again, pick up these three metal, and then in here is a new scannable item. Give this a scan, and this one is the um, Mulligan Melon. So basically, it, it's an exploding ball sack. So basically, one, 
one handle, one throw, and then it explodes, very much like men in real life. Two strokes and an explosion. Okay, um, yeah, yeah, look at me walk. I'm a little walking queen. I can do shit. I'm a bad bitch. Oh, yeah. I can walk. I can trip my stiff. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. Enough of the, enough of the, um, modeling and catwalking. We've got stuff to do. We can be a bad girl later. We do look pretty badass, mind. Old Ranny. With her... I mean, are they supposed to be mechanical ankles? I know she lost an arm. That's why she's got a big glove, by the way. That's the whole point of it. She's lost her arm. That's why she's got a big glove, which she can do awesome stuff with. But is that the same with her ankles? I'm not quite sure. Anyway, to the right, as we begin, just after the cutscene, grab another three fibres. We've already got this one, so... <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. And we are going to go to the left. So if we go to the left, just... On the bridge right here, we got another scannable thing. This is the uh, pull chain, or the switch chain, sorry. And if we press the right trigger, pull it all the way out, and that will get the first bridge on the go. So now what we have to do is basically go through two separate areas in order to pull the chain. Which, I mean, that's a hell of a lot of work, but it's got to be done. Make sure to pick up the lump fruit before climbing up the rope. The mushroom-infused rope. Now this is one of those areas where it is very easy to miss quite a lot of things. So when we get here on top of this rock, if we go to the right, and just, um, yeah, keep going to the right, there we go. So just underneath here, by these big flowery things or whatever, you can see this rope which is heading down. Again, this is very easily missed. If we jump down here, we can see another metal nut, and another metal ball. So, again... One is very easily missed, but I'm trying to just get through, especially all the hardest um, places where we can get all the things. So from here, we can just jump down to the area, to the normal area, and go to the right, and we got another couple of things. So what I was saying was, I'm trying to show you all the places where all the hardest materials are to find. That's what I was trying to say, rather than all the things. Sounding more like Homer Simpson there than uh, me. Right, jump up the old throw-up rocks, grab the old two-stroke balls, and give that a good throw up. That should now get rid of the rubble, which again is another scannable item, the rubble. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, which we'll scan a bit later on, so again, plenty of rubble about, so don't panic. Climb up, climb up. And then here is another tail hive. We can grab another five organics out of him. Sorry to kill you off there, buddy. That's yeah, that's my bad. Uh, so we're not jumping down yet, but we are having a look. I mean, even in the gunk style, it's a, it's such a beautiful game. It is such a, it is a really, really nice game. Um, so what we can do then, get the trigger shot and done, and we can just go through the first passage, which is the North Passage. So this is where it gets really tough. You know, you get shot in the butt and all sorts. Ah, you don't. It's pretty much the same as it's always been. Right, so obviously we can't go through there yet. So jump down to the left. Make sure to grab these metals, which again are very easily missable. And move on. And then we've got to, on the right here, we can get a, another couple of fibers. And then we can jump up. But then there is a whole bunch of gunky mess. Um, all you need to do, by the way, to jump behind you is press the A button once, and Rani, Rani will ax automatically jump behind her. So, slap the gunk out with your bare glove. Wow, so impressed. So, before moving on, head over to the next rock, and of course we're going to see a couple of lump fruits. So that's uh, f another five pieces of organic to jump, uh, to get. Jump over to the next rock, and then go underneath here to grab this um, two stroke, two strokes and you're done ball. And try not to do what I did. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you could throw it properly first time, then you'd be a b much better gamer than I. Um, right, try and throw it at the debris, the rebel. Oh, the rebel even. Bloody hell, this illness is destroying my English, which... Actually, no, that was just me in general, actually, so never mind. So, once that's done, we can now move on. We should have had all the materials and things from there as well. Now, it's time to get a few more, so we're going to jump up to the left. 
Again, all the paths are quite linear in the game, but it's just a case of where to find certain things and what to do, etc, etc. But what we can do is jump down, grab these bits of metal, and we're actually going to scan the rubble now. So, if you haven't done it yet, do it now just so it's out of the way, and that should get us a new unlockable upgrade, the Emission Amplifier. But that should be the rubble all done. Right, what we're going to do is... Destroy the rubble over there, so shoot it once. Again, left trigger on the B button. Uh, you probably already figured that one out by now. And that's going to destroy that part of the rubble. Flintstones, you're destroying their home. So what we're going to do, shoot it down, pick it up, give it a good throw over to the other side. And, I mean, you can shoot it again if you want to get it done quicker by, like, literally 0.3 seconds. But that way we can jump down and there is a metal ball waiting to be just sucked up and destroyed. <laughs> Delishimundo. Right, so that should be eight right there. So we should have had the scannable item. Eight metal balls. And what we're going to do is drop this one down, pick it up again and throw it up. Because there is another piece of Rubbleonians that we can destroy and get to the other side. Lovely. <coughs> Excuse me if you just heard the cough of... Half death, right there. So, uh, what we're going to do then, scan this alien monument on the left-hand side. So it does look like the one that we've done earlier, but there is another one that we have to do as well. So, there's not much in this area. It seems like there would be, but there's not really much. Uh, go down to the right-hand side here. Little cubby hole area is the Red Hot Fungal Peppers. Um, so grab another couple of those. That should be another five fiber. We can jump up, there's nothing up here, but I did just want to shoot the alien squat and the bows. So, um, there we go. And probably just one up the pooper snatch as well, maybe one of the gooch, just just for being an alien. Stop being a stop being a douchebag alien. Did they <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but there's really no need to do this. I just literally wanted to shoot the alien in the bowels and the butt. Just because I am super mature at what I do. And if you want, shoot this guy's squar and the belly button as well. Maybe, maybe his cheeks will uh, be a lot better. Right, so anyway, before moving on, we can head to the left. We're going to grab this bowl. Uh, again, it's not the explosion, two strokes and you're done ball, which is nice. So we can take our time with it. But what we do, just go over to the other side. You can already see the energy fissure on the opposite side. So give that the good throw, the old LeBron James of life. And make sure to grab the three organics as well, and then we can jump up, and that will be it then for this area. Which will be bang tidy. Just have a look. Oh, like I said, always worth having a check, but everything should be done in that area. So, nicely done. Uh, by the way, I only keep saying LeBron James because I'm really crap at basketball. Is there any better players than LeBron? I, probably. Americans who feel deeply about basketball will probably tell me... Why so-and-so is better than so-and-so, because so-and-so, and such-and-such. -and -such. So, you do that. But for now, let us grab these bits of metal before moving down. You turn behind you, grab the two pieces of metal, and then we can head down. So we've got the gunk to get rid of, and there's another couple of gunk critters as well. So again, easiest way to beat the gunk tri critters is right trigger, suck them up, and then throw them. Like, literally like you're just picking up a piece of bacon. Like a pepper Pig piece of bacon and just slamming it on the floor. I don't know why it's Peppa Pig bacon, but, you know, it's it's basically the same thing, right? <laughs> Red. Again, after every enemy that you kill, make sure that you are sucking up the purple bits of alien uh, materials as well. Because they are definitely coming handy for your upgrades later on. But right, when we are done with that then, and all the gunk is gone, we can now, again, try not to be as idiotic as me there, and try and get it pulled first time. <laughs> but that will be the first bridge. Again, you can do the um, bridges in any order, it literally makes no difference. But since we were already there, that's why we've done the northern mountain pass first. So, now we can head down, that's the first one done. So, and like I said, everything that you collect and everything that you do in the game... And we're just having another spin around with our mechanical ankled friend. Or are they actual legs? I'm still getting confused by Rani's uh, appearance. Uh, but we're going to jump down. But yeah, so everything that you collect and everything that you do in the game stays collected and stays done. So you never have to come back and change everything. Every enemy you kill gets killed. That's that. Um, but obviously we have to do all the achievements and everything before ending the game. Otherwise you have to play 
all the way through it again, and we just can't be asked for that. Even though it is a beautiful and very good game. So we're going to climb down the couple of ropes. Again, have a look for materials if you want to, but uh, they should be good out of that area. Now we can head to the right side and get the southern pass done. So, head on these platforms. Grab the old two-strokes and your <laughs> two-stroke explosive ball. And give that a throw to the other side. The old mulligan melon. Very nice. I mean, there's a hell of an explosions as well. Jesus. Uh, get up on <laughs> get up on the throw up rock. I mean, imagine if you were hiking with your kids or something. And thought, oh, that looks like a nice berry. Get one of those down you, and you're going to explode literally out of your pants, and not in a good way either. So uh, make sure to grab the two organics there, as you've just seen before climbing up. Jump up onto the next rock, and there shouldn't be anything here. Somehow I end up going the wrong way, <laughs> just going into a nice complete dead end of nothing. But go here, to the right, smash that out, and then the door will open, and let's get Southern Pass done. Why, well, ah, yeah, y'all. I've got to say y'all now, haven't I? Because that's how everyone down south speaks. Y'all, 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 y'all. Hey, y'all, come down here, y'all. Now, if y'all climb up on y'all rock over y'all... Okay, I can't do it. That annoys the crap out of me. Right, on the left-hand side, grab five fibers from the Red Hot Fungal Peppers. And then on the right here, grab another three fibers sticking out of the ground like carrots. Grab another two-stroke explosion ball and just throw it into the gunk. Now, that will actually explode the gunk, which comes in handy for now and comes in handy a lot later on as well. So, uh, rip it off again, throw it into the next gunk on the right. And we've got everything that we need to advance. Yeah, I bet women would like a big tongue like that, wouldn't they? Uh, right, so anyway, did, did I just think out loud, or did I just... Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm, 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 a, I'm a fool. Okay, so I fell off like I died. And that's what I get, that's karma for whatever I just said. So, moving on, we can just jump up on the tongues. Um, there we go, and now we can grab these bunch of fruits right here from this big tail hive, so that's another five organic for us. I mean, in the end, we get an absolute crap ton of organics and fibres, but it is the metal which I end up struggling with at the end, but, again, no panics, because I'll tell you exactly where to get more. So shoot the old two-stroke ball explosion down, so it gets rid of the explosion at the rubble, and we can just move on. Man, I, I've got to apologise for all the mistakes that I say during a video, it really... Really doesn't look good. Uh, so, moving on here, moving forward, and scan this other alien monument. So, this is the third alien monument, and they all, they are all three differing uh, scans, obviously, as you've seen. So, don't think that the one is just one and done. That should be the third out of three alien monuments that we've done. So, heading behind you and heading down. Again, a little bit to do here. Don't fall and die, because you'll just... Apparently, you'll just end up back on the same platform anyway, so it doesn't make a difference if you do. Grab the three bits of organic, and then what we can do in the distance, shoot the two um, two stroke explosion balls, and that should go pop. And then it should go pop. And there we go then. So, that that is very much like me. <laughs> a couple of two shots and I'm done. Right, anyway, <laughs> we can now move on with the fowl's tongue and go over to this platform. Now what we can do is we're going to use the big mulligan melon ball to destroy a couple of uh, rubble. So grab, grab this one down, uh, pick it up, again obviously using the right trigger, left trigger to aim, right trigger to throw obviously as you know. So that would be the first one, but there is a secret hidden one just at the end of this tongue down to the left of us right there. So pick it up. Again, if you want to get it a little bit quicker, um, just keep hold of the right trigger so you can sort of suck the ball in. <laughs> so, you know, you don't end up doing that. So, if you shoot it, press the right trigger immediately so you just suck the ball. <laughs> and then you can just give it a throw without worrying that you are going to be explosioned. So, when you've destroyed the rubble down there, we can now use the rope to go down. Jump down and use your big mechanical, your tiny mechanical ankles to not break yourself. And we've got, oof, we've got some deliciousness right here. We've got three fibres, four fibres. Mmm, delicious. I'm going to poop well today. And we can grab this, another eight fibres from this ball. And there is a set of metal on the wall as well. So that should be five metals done as well. So again, all these little things, you see, 
And all these little things, they are very easily missed. And by God, it can piss you off when you think you've done everything in-game and <laughs> you're actually missing quite a bit. So, when we climb up, again, we're going to climb up without uh, climbing back down for some reason. I don't know whatever ran he was doing. But now we can just move ahead as normal and we can go out the other side and we're going to basically be done now for this particular area. So you think that the game is sort of getting quickly finished, but when we get to chapter 5, oh boy, that's a long boy. But for now, let us, um, well, let us do some killing, throwing, stabbing, chilling, illing, killing. Kill a gunk, kill a critters, job done. Make sure to pick up the alien DNA. Crucial. Right then, so, once we are done here, on this little ledge, we've got another, uh, just one metal, and that's all you need. Plus about another hundred and odd to go. But once you got the metal, grab the switch, pull it. Oh, I'm really sorry, Jesus, my throat. This is actually really hard commentary for me, because <laughs> my throat is just <laughs> dead right now. <laughs> anyway, when we're done with that, grab this old Nutter Butter Ball. <clears throat> and then give it a throw into the energy fissure, and that'll get us gone, going, good. So now, this bit, like I said, you've done this bit, you will never have to do this bit again um, if you come back here. So grab the two metal, use the rope to climb down. Whee! That's going to be fun. And there we go, just jump onto a throw up rock. Again, I, there was a little bit of an edit. I was trying to just um, have a look to see if there was any other materials about, but there is none. There's just a two-stroke explosion ball right there, which, of course, we don't need anymore. So, back on the throw-up rock. And now we can basically just go to the middle and through the bridge and through the hole. In fact, no, we're going to put a signal beacon down right first. Lost, are you? So before moving on, as you can see, on the left is where we're going to place the signal beacon. Now, if you press the Y button, and for some reason, Rani just stays there and she doesn't actually do anything, um, like the game glitches out like it did for me, um, just reload the checkpoint or go back to main menu, continue back in, and um, basically you should just start more or less at the beginning. But with everything done, so you don't have to do anything. You can just right, run back out of the beacon signal and um, put that back down. So that's if the game does glitch out, which it did a few times for me, unfortunately. So you can put it down. You don't have to use it. It's already there as we are good. Now we're going to be going into some caves, some spooky caves. Ooga booga. Okay, it's not that ugly buggery, to be honest. But where we are now is, <laughs> good spin, we are at Gunk Tower. And that is one hell of a tower. Now, the only thing we have to do is... It could seem like we have to get rid of all the gunk as we begin Chapter 4. Hello, Chapter 4. Nice to meet you. Uh, but we don't. All we have to do is just get rid of the gunk that's in our way. And that's it. So don't don't bother wasting your time trying to get all the gunk on all the sides. Because it just won't disappear. So what you need to do is just get rid of the gunk that's in your way. But, you know, try not to get inside the gunk, because the gunk will spunk and junk in your head. Oh, yeah. But this is basically just one big linear path. Um, so, yeah. Up the guts. And this is what the gunk actually looks like, up your guts. So, you know, nice uh, scientific body lesson for you there. I assume this is what the insides of you look like. Everywhere. 
There we go. Was that a nice couple of minutes without my COVID-free coughing voice all over the show? I bet you did enjoy it. So, when that bit is done, make sure to grab the Tail High 5 Organics, and there's another three fibers, carrots sticking out of the ground. And a couple of lump fruits as well, so grab that bit of 5 Organically Enhanced Beautifulness. And then just carry on, jump up on the throw up rock. Again, don't waste your time on getting the gunk which is on the sides. Just keep going straight, <laughs> straight up. Ah! Oh! Keep, st keep sticking with the path. Again, there's only one way to go, that is up. And then at the end of it, you've got another couple of gun critters to kill. You got this. I believe in you. You, you're the best. You are the best. Come on. Take a look at that glowing thing. <coughs> Wow, so manly right now. Right, so when that bit is done, we, uh, um, of course, have to grab another couple of things before moving on. So, go and get this um, wart ball. Bam, slap that out. Grab the eight organics that come out of that. And then just to the right is another couple of metals for us uh, to grab. Also, there is a red heart fungal pepper there. So, grab the five fibers there. And to the left of that is another three organics sticking out of the ground. Yum yums. Right, on the tongue, up the bum. Damn it, sorry, I try not to say that then. Honestly, with all my heart. Um, that's just the gunk dripper which we've already done before. Now, we're going to start seeing the gunk which actually starts flying towards you. Um, so, obviously, uh, just be on the lookout. <laughs> try not to get hit in the head with that gunk drip. Uh, but there is always going to be, from now on, little bits of gunk that does fly towards you and try to consume you. So, when that starts happening, I mean, just suck it up. Suck the gunk away. And you're going to have a kind eye. Okay, here we are at the end. Um, if you try going to the left, you will basically do what I just done and die. So, go to the right. <laughs> Look behind you, go to the right. And now we're going to have the gunk try and attack you from all different directions. So, um, about six or seven of these is just going to happen. So, keep an eye out. Keep on, be on the lookout. They will stop eventually because they realize that they're, they're no match for an armless woman with a mega glove. Me mega sucky suck suck ten dollars glove. 
And when that is done then, turn around, scan the hatch. So that's another scan, and then immediately to the right of it, uh, we need to scan the console as well. So just having a look, just in case um, I'm going to die. But there we go then. So you should have two scans right there, the hatch and the engine control panel. And that'll be done. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> excuse me again. Blow off the hatch. That This gets rid of all the gunk. Lovely. Now, your first thought would be, right, we'll just go back down the hatch. Job done. But no, we actually need to climb back down on the outside on all these big magic mushroom platforms that have appeared. But, um, if we just look behind us and grab this uh, next ball, grab the eight fibers that appear out of there. Um, there are two big pieces of metal that are easily missed. Um, on the big, on the actual tower itself. So, grab the water ball, another 8 bits of organic, and then that should be it for this little area. So now we can just head down. And we can't go back down the way we came. We actually have to use the magic mushroom platform pads. Which is fine, which is fine. So, as you'll be able to see, uh, when we jump back down again, there you go. You can see already then that the big metal is on the tower. So, grab this one, and then just keep walking down. Oh, and there we go. We're going to get an achievement there. That should be story-related and unmissable for clearing the gunk tower. So if we jump down to the next set of platform pads, and there we go. As you can see, just on the left slightly and up is the next set of metals. So, again, very easily missable, but that should give you another 10 pieces of metal, and that is that. Now we can just roll downhill. I know if I was a fat guy, I'd be rolling downhill instead of walking. Surely that just makes life easier, right? <laughs> right? Although I suppose it hurts, but... Anyway, just having a little double check, making sure there's nothing else. But it should only be those ten uh, pieces of metal that was on the wall. Which were missable. Now, what we can do... Head over to the left. Back up onto Throw Up Rock. And glide, 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 Lila. So, going to the right, going down, dropping down... And here we are. Right, we need to get those metals that are just behind us, or just in front of us right there. For some reason, um, we're not going to go down the ropes, so don't go down yet. What we have to do is go to the right and go all the way around. For some reason, the developers decided to put, like, a bush in the way, which for some reason, Rani can't get um, through. I, I don't know why that is, but we can't get through that bush. So jump onto this platform, jump onto the rope and go up. And then we can just follow the path around, and that is how we get the five metals. So, so for all the powers of literally ripping metal out from the ground and everything, but she can't just chop a bush down or suck the bush up. Anyway, no point having your pissed off nurses about it. We, uh, we'll come back to that later. So you can't go down that rope because we need, uh, because it's only halfway full and we'll end up dying. So we need to jump off this one, go right around again. As you can see, that worked about as well as a kick to the crotch. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, just try not to do what I done there. I'm glad we got those mechanical ankles, by the way, because <laughs> our legs would have been broken multiple times by now. And as we know, to get through life in an adventure, try not to break your legs that many times. Even once is enough, but... So, we have to go all the way back round... Literally, I wonder if the devs just said, how can we extend the game a little bit? I know, let's just put a couple of random bushes in the way so they have to go around and waste like 30 seconds. Thanks! So, let's climb down the rope. Beautiful. It's a nice bit of scenery, even in the underground, to be honest. Looks better than my own bedroom. So, go to the right here, and then you're going to grab three organics which are sticking out of the ground. And then if we go directly in front of us, you can see another couple of metals... Um, I don't know why we didn't go down that rope, actually. It's not that far of a drop. I thought there was... I thought it was a bigger drop for that rope. Apparently, it wasn't. Anyway, we're here now. We're queer. Get used to it. Um, <laughs> but that should be it for the materials in this part of the section. Um, so the big metal ball, the, the couple of fibers that were sticking out of the ground. And now we're moving on into deep black hole territory. This is if we're going inside a cat if we're going inside an anal canyon passage, we're really gonna see some gunk. <laughs> How long did it take me to come up with that joke? Twelve seconds. Impressive. But we're not actually underground. We are in this again, honestly, just a stunning, stunning scenery in a little stunning area. 
a lot of organics and materials to get through though. So, go over these platforms first. The three fiber that were sticking out of the ground. And then to the right again, there's going to be another couple of metals. Um, I tried doing this in the sort of fastest way to grab all the materials we can before we move on. So, go to the left and jump up on the platform. Rocky platform to grab another two organics. And then what we can do is uh, keep going around the big rock. Because there is a bunch of red hot fungal peppers there. So we can grab the five. Keep going around again. And then up. And there's going to be throw up rock that we can climb up on the left. And the left again. And we can get big wart ball right there. And that's going to be another nice uh, eight bits of organic. And to be fair. <coughs> excuse me. To be fair it's just... I mean, to be fair, the developers must have had a hell of a time with this game. Just making this. It just, it looks... Blamissimo. Looks absolutely fantastic. So, we're jumping down, and we're going around sort of to the back passage. <laughs> Grabbing another five lump fruits there, so another five bits of organicness. And then keep going around, and we're going to see this rope there on the right-hand side of us. There is a beacon signal as well, which we're going to do in just a bit. Uh, but grab the fibre... Just opposite the beacon signal before we climb up the rope type thing. Riser twine, but it's just easier to call it rope, isn't it? Uh, so look behind you, we've got another, another five lump fruits to grab. And then from here, we can just jump over to the next uh, platform and we can grab the two stroke explosion ball and throw that over to the rubble the opposite side. Now, there may be potentially some metal or some materials that I have missed. I don't think I did, but if you have seen something that I missed, uh, just let me know. Um, and I'll obviously pop it down in the old comments below, just so you won't miss any. Uh, but place the beacon signal anyway. And then if you press the Y button to use it, there we go. So we should have four places that we can go now. And we are actually going to just nip back to the campsite. Always worth doing this, just to see if you want to upgrade something. Or unless you just want to check Bex out and have a look at the old... Um, uh, the old, uh, what's his name? Kurt. The old come, un come under retinal titty bags. <laughs> right, so what we're doing now is grabbing another upgrade. But what I would get, basically I choose the one where the, um, where it reduces the recharge time. Which is fine, but what I would personally, what I would have gotten instead is the one next to it, which is the stun pulse one. And the reason I say we do that is basically when you press the left trigger and then the B button, that stuns an enemy for a couple of seconds. So that is one that I would have would have, and should have gone for before because that would have made... Um, there's an achievement for killing a new enemy. It's the Gunk Spitter. Uh, basically, for killing one of those without him being aware of your presence. We get it the first one we get anyway. But if you get the stun pulse upgrade, it just makes it a lot easier because you can stun him, run up to him, and then press the right trigger and kill him. So, uh, but but again, it's fine if you don't get it yet. It doesn't make a difference. Um, but if you do get it now, then that does make life just ever so slightly easier for you. But again, we're not going to be coming up to him for quite a while. Those uh, gunk spitters for quite a while yet. So we can go back to the canyon, the old anal canyon passage. Let's go see some more gunk. Go through... Oh, damn tight space. Hey, that's what happens. This is what a literal canyon passage... This is what your canyon passage looks like. <laughs> anyway, when we get through... <laughs> when we get through... Hmm, that's clean. Um, now we are on to chapter 5. This is the longest chapter in the game, by the way. Uh, so grab the three pieces of metal and then jump up to th um, throw up rock. Uh, again, it's kind of a linear path, but there are a few things that you can miss, a few materials that you can miss, so jump down here. And then on the rock, just behind us, there is another five sets of metal that we can grab. There's that one, jumpity jump. And then uh, grab the old two-stroke explosion ball from just above you. There is some rubble behind us that we are going to destroy, so grab that, pick it up quick, give it the chunky throw of life. Bam! Oh yeah, two strokes and explosion. And that is how many women get pregnant. Because men cannot control their two stroke explosions. Um, sorry, I'll try and stop making that uh, awful joke now. So, behind you there, we just seen a little, en uh, a little entry that we could go through. So there's two metal on the right. And there should be another eight pieces of metal. Which should give you ten overall. So a nice little um, canyon passage opening. So ten pieces of metal there. Now we can go through the... Rubble, rubble that we just destroyed. 
Oh, jump over. Again, like I said, it makes a difference if you fall off and die, because you don't fall off and die. Uh, before moving on, go around the right to this rock to find yet another two metal, and now we can move on. Uh, so that, that's what happens quite a lot in these sort of um, underground caves. There is a lot that can be missed um, if you don't. So if you just carry on as normal, you can miss quite a bit. Uh, but there's nothing else to grab now, so we can just climb up L rope. So let's see what we got to do now. Take a look up. And we're going to see a little two stroke explosion ball that we're going to grab. So pick that up, throw it to the right of you where the rubble is, and blam! Pregnant! Um. <laughs> no, there is a little uh, explosion, a little opening we can go through. Sorry, not an explosion we can go through. I highly would not recommend going through explosions. That probably equals burnt face and maybe death. Uh, so there's no materials in that particular area that we were just in. But we are going to come up to an opening where there is. And that opening is outside. Because it looks like this is the place we should go to progress the story, but it's not. So go outside, grab the ball there to um, destroy that, get the eight fibers, and another bunch of fibers sticking out of the ground. So that should be four. That should be a nice uh, a nice complimentary 12 bits of fiber. So go back, go to the left, go to the right before heading up the steps to grab another five pieces of metalaniums. And now we can start platforming up to the right. Up, up, and up the rope. Now, there is going to be a two-stroke explosion ball right there. So we can just throw that in the rubble, and then we can go ahead. Now, <coughs> excuse me. It looks like this chapter can be over quite quickly, and it'll be done quickly. But there's a lot to get through. This takes roughly around an hour just on its own. And I know people at Jitalon and that are going, What? An hour for one chapter? What? It's not 20 minutes for a full 1,000? A full 8,000? Game of score, an hour for one chapter, Jesus Christ! But yes, games actually do that these days. Uh, so, now we can shoot the photosensitive trigger, and we can move on. Again, do not worry about any enemies, we're not going to come up to any enemies um, for a little while, but we are going to gunk up the life. This gunk isn't going to attack you, but it is going to go in a particular order, so slap it down with your bare hand glove, man. Way though. Let's get rid of this gunk. Well, we don't know how we did it, but there are plants down here in the dark, and they look nice. Apart from the poison, which is probably sprinkled all over them. And so we've got a couple of scannable items to grab, so before pulling the old switch chain right there, if we head to the left, have a look at the um, platform and give that a scan. That is the Ruin Swing Bridge. Again, those scannable items can be very easily missable. Uh, so grab that one. You should, again, where it says next upgrade at the bottom there, you should be on basically the exact same as me, as long as you've been following along. Um, if not, just have a look at the um, comment timestamps and just go through each one depending on which one you've missed. But this is what is called a lift, so what we're going to do is give that a scan as well. The Ruin, <laughs> the ruin Lift. And you can... Um, Scan the inscription as well, so that should be the lift, the inscription, and that should get us an upgrade. Unlock the Cortex Jolt, which I don't actually get until the very end of the game, so I don't actually know what it does. So, shoot the trigger, that puts the lift up, and if we go to the left here, we can grab another three pieces of metal. So, do not forget to grab 
And if you don't, well, you can just come back here later. That makes no difference. Uh, don't worry about this. Uh, the inscription's already done. You don't have to worry <laughs> about scanning the inscription anymore. So, jump forward. Now, there is metal on the right, as you can see, but we don't come back to that until later on. So, don't panic. You can't grab it yet. We're just going to keep moving forward and slap this um, chapter out. So, a few things to do in terms of... This is quite a big puzzle room, so we have to do quite the bit. And the first thing we're doing is heading over to the right. You can see some three fibers, uh, organic, sorry, sticking out of the ground, amazingly. Uh, follow this little path up. And the door on the right is where we need to go, but for now we're just going to pull these three switches. And it doesn't matter what way you do it, we're always going to be screwed, and we have to fix it. These people are not very good at uh, keeping things maintained and everything. The maintenance, whoever's the janitor in this, needs to be uh, sacked, sorry. Anyway, head down these spinning fans, don't worry, you can a die. I assume you couldn't anyway. And then we can head deeper underground. Hello. Am I just show my age there, singing Jamiroquai? Uh, yes, probably. I've done that enough times. So we're going to head on the old spinny boy. And just keep going until we get around here. And we can see three metals that we're going to pick up with our glove. Bear glove. Go around on the spinny boy again. And we're going to grab another three pieces of metal. So there, should, there we go. So nice six pieces of metal for us. Which again, we're not going to take back and sell for mega bucks when we get back to uh, planet Earth. I assume this isn't planet Earth. We're just going to keep and upgrade it to some pointless crap. So up the lift we go. Shoot the trigger. Go up the lift. And to the left of us should be an opening. There we go. Jump on the old spinny boy. And we can just wait... And wait, and wait, and it's, it's actually so, <laughs> um, you don't have to scan that, that's nothing to be scanning about. It is actually so easy to just miss time your jump and miss Q everything and then you just keep falling down. So, uh, honestly, just take your time with that bit. Even though if you do fall, it doesn't matter, you just start uh, basically at the beginning of this point anyway. Uh, so, just keep on waiting, keep on spinning and fly up. Here I am, here I am, God, I hate kids' songs. So, so, and I'm only listening to kids' songs because of my kids. Obviously, I'm not just sat there in my spare time listening to kids' songs. Okay, we're going to wait until we go to the left-hand side of these spinny boys. There we go. Because, uh, as you can see, we've got a couple of things we need to collect. A lot more metal and a bit more junk in that trunk. Junk in that metalanium trunk. So, that should be th uh, eight metals there that you should have grabbed. And then we can just jump back on. And, of course, go into the middle, spinny boy, and then from here, go to the left one. Which would have been the right one the other side, but now it's the left one because we come from that side. Just to confuse you a little bit, <laughs> but no, it's the it's the way forward. So, there we go, we are on to yet another lift, but scan this item first. This is the uh, ruined console. So, make sure before going up the lift there that you've just scanned the ruined console. Like I said, you can obviously go back through these points later on. But it's kind of a... Some places are a bit more of a pain in the ass to get to than others. So, scan them all now. Get them all done. So, make sure you scan that ruin console before moving on. And then, we could have looked behind. Grabbed us the lump fruit. Shoot the door. And now, we can move forward. <coughs> Lovely. Oh, right. Now, we've got more stuff to enjoy, right? So, that is the, pi uh, the place that we were earlier on. The sort of main, coming up to, to the sort of main section now. But from here, we're going to jump on. And then jump again. To the right. Again, if you do fall, you've obviously opened up all the pathways, so it's easy enough to just get back up here. Of course, it is kind of a minor inconvenience. So, grab the two-stroke explosion ball, chuck it over to the rubble over the opposite side. And look at that. I love how there's no one about to question your motives and everything right now. But over here, we've got another couple of metals. Like, there's a whole bunch of explosions going on, and nobody's coming out going, uh, Excuse me, what the fuck do you think you're doing, mate? This is my planet, you're exploding crap. Why these uh, people are scouts, apparently, I don't know. But again, that's, uh, that's something for another story. So, grab the, all the metal that you can, and go over to this spinning platform. What we need to do now is grab this ball sack straight off there. Oh, the way she pulls at it as well. Ha! Ah. And you need to throw it into this energy fissure just to the left. That that I was impressed with that shot, actually, because I thought I would miss about eight shots before getting the 
<laughs> before getting it done first time, but I didn't. So don't <laughs> don't do what I done just there and completely <laughs> fall off the edge. You actually have to go onto the next platform like that, and then you can jump onto the old flat cap mushroom. So that was a hell of a slam dunk straight death down. So a whole bunch of gunk here again. Now I believe this is another area where. In fact, no, it's not. No, there's not not that much to get. Uh, not that much to suck up here. As you can see, it was just all on the right-hand side, so that bit is good. And everything's alive for us. Right, happy days. Bountiful. Right, so, we are back in the locked room, the sort of main area that we're in. Now we can pull the switch, which is just going to open up the um, gate, or the cage or whatever, which is directly in front of us. So we can give that a shot. Bam! And that basically now means that we can move on. So go down to the right, grab these uh, five lump fruit bits of organic, and now we're going to jump back up onto the pl um, platform thing, and then we can go down the other side this time. So again, always worth just um, checking every little nook and cranny and every crevice. You never know what you might find. Sadly, no money on this planet. Yuck, Jesus. Right, so from here then, what we could do, we're going to go straight... <laughs> Again, if you can jump your timings, time your jumps better, that would be fantastic. Um, you are definitely way, probably much better at video games than me, but you know, all good. Uh, but what we're actually grabbing is the metal that we could not grab earlier on before we move on. So wait for Spinny Boy, spin yourself around, or you could, could probably just make it now anyway. But there we go. Hello, Scoobs. Right, jump on, and that will be the five metal pieces. Again, that we could not get earlier on, but we can now. So from here, we can just move on, jump to the other side, get in the main room. So going back up those little steps, now as you can see on the right-hand side, the door is open for us. And we have finished the game in about two hours. For now, we've still got quite a bit to do. Now, this is the lower mine, and this is where we are actually going to see where the um, gunk spitter is. Uh, the door in front of us you can actually open, but it doesn't make a difference in terms of um, getting anywhere quicker or anything. So, you don't actually have to bother. But what we can do for now is slap the gunk out with your big glove. Lovely. So that that bit done. Um, again, apologies. I didn't. There's no commentary on that bit. I hope you uh, followed along. Lovely. He was just jumping up the platforms and avoiding the drippers. But when that's done, grab the p five pieces of metal that was up there. Should have been the only one that was up there. Grab the two stroke explosion ball. Um, right after we go into throw up rock and grab these fibers. Actually, sorry, uh, or these organics. But that is what we need. And then so grab the two organics. Grab the old two stroke. And throw it against the rebel. Wha-bam. Wha-bam. Thank you, ma'am. This'll be a treat. Uncle Moe's, here I am. <laughs> Sorry. What, what, what were we talking about? Okay, right. We're moving on with the game. I was th thinking of Uncle Moe's family feed bag. Right. So, once again, we've got a lot of gunk and a few gunk explosion critters. So, just keep an eye out. And again, every... Uh, critter that you kill, make sure to pick up the purple alien crap that comes out of him as well. Getting sick of these things. And of course, if you ever feel the need that you're starting to die slightly, get outside the red zone and into the yum yum zone, and you'll as soon as you stop glowing green, that means you're at full health again. Always remember, and I feel tricked that.
damn, man, that was too much gunk in the trunk. And we've got rid of the gunk in the trunk, and I hope you like it. Right, so grab the ball there, which was sort of just directly behind us. Eight fibers in there. Lovely little section now. And from here, what we can do is just um, head, <laughs> eventually, uh, to the left around this rock. Because there is three pieces of organic that we can grab. Again, that one is very easily missed. That is what I was doing there. Doing, I wasn't dancing and spinning around for the sake of it, honestly. And then we can go into the next area. Now, this is where, in the distance, as you can see, we can see the gunk uh, spitter. Now, when he sees you, he will give you a couple of seconds, but he will shoot um, gunk at you. Now, we're going to get the achievement for killing one without um, him noticing. So, drop down to the right, and we're going to basically just keep hugging the right-hand side wall. So, keep hugging that right-hand side wall. Don't worry, he, he, um, he can't hear you doing this. But this is why I said it would be easy to get this stun gun. So you can literally just stun him, run up to him, and kill him. But we're doing this the hard way. So, again, just keep hugging that right-hand side wall as much as you can. And there we go. Now, as soon as we grab this, what we can do... Now, I do try shooting him. But, me being complete moronicals, I don't have the stun gun, which is why he doesn't get stunned, but jump on the rock, jump behind him as quickly as you can, and then just give him the old deafness, if you do get caught, so that's the achievement done, that's how you do that particular achievement, therefore slip one past, killing a gunk spinner without him noticing, if you um, get caught for whatever reason, just go inside any bits of the gunk, wait until you die, and just restart the checkpoint and go again, um, but if not, there are again... There are plenty that you can do um, throughout the game. But for me, to be honest, that, that that's the easiest one that we can grab. Um, but there are plenty to do if you don't get it yet. But what I would do is just restart the checkpoint, die and restart the checkpoint, and go again. It's easy enough as long as you're hugging that right-hand side wall. So when that bit's done, then we can grab the three organics from that one rock. Go over to this other side platform and grab another three pieces of organic. And that is lovingly. Yeah, all right, Bex. Jesus Christ, you sound worse than my mammy. Mammy, stop nagging me. Love you. Right, <laughs> so what we can do, uh, go to this tail hive, grab the five out of there. And now what... Now in this little area that we're just about to go through in the cave, or we were just about to go through in the cave, I do think I miss a couple of organic materials, which I do... So go behind us, so apologies about this one, uh, but I climb up on these red caps, and there is going to be a couple more fibres to grab. I say a couple, that was a, a, a nice little 11 to 12 that we grabbed there, so make sure to grab those ones before we move on. We can't grab, go there yet, so don't panic your nut bags off about them. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so you've got the signal beacon in front of us, that's fine. Now... What we're going to do, this area, there are gun critters in this little area, so <laughs> one or two may surprise you, uh, because they did certainly crap my pants, I didn't expect them to be here, but they are, so they're going to come out of nowhere, uh, where are they, where are you, you little butt snatches, yeah, alright Bex, yeah, thanks, thanks mummy, Th there he is, you little wiener bag, so there are a couple of um, critter bugs. Now we have to, I feel like I probably could have done this one a little bit better because we have to come back through this area anyway. Um, just after we do a little few things with a signal beacon and stuff. Uh, but it's always worth just getting this out the way anyway so it doesn't make a difference. So just go around. Um, it's not a very big area but just get rid of all the gunk. Kill all the gunk critters until you see the inevitable flash of green. Oh, right, in fact, there it is. So, just in front of us is where we've got to go in just a bit. But for now, we're going to head backwards and go back out. I did actually, for some reason, get quite confused <laughs> with this area. Um, so, that's why you probably see me looking quite, quite the fool. Quite the fool. So, yeah, we're just going to head back out for now anyway. Come back to this area a bit later on. Again, I probably could have saved a little bit of time by... Not doing that first, but, you know, it's done. It's done. No point. No point whining and wienering. But here is the signal beacon that we're going to go through. We are actually going to place it and go back to the campsite.
So, how's it going out there? It's all a bit maze-like. Cave tunnels mixed with old ruinous machinery. Well, I mean, how do you think it's going, Bex? You've got the nice, um, easy life where you just stand around with your hands in your pockets and your budgy-haired fox mofo. While me, I've got to do all the real work with two mechanical ankles and a glove hand. How do you think it's bloody going? I'm doing all the work, mate, and I haven't even eaten yet. My eyebrows look like they need a trim, but uh, maybe my moustache too. We'll think about that when we come to it. So, again, you can grab a couple of upgrades here if you want to. Um, again, personally, I probably wouldn't bother until we get the stun, uh, the stun cannon upgrade. Um, but I'm just letting you know that. I was a bit silly, didn't go for it until a little bit later on. But I would probably hold off until we get the stun upgrade because, with the, especially with the gunk spitters, it does make life tremendously easier, as you will see soon. But there is another bit that we are going to do now, and again, this is another part where I could have probably, could have and should have probably held off. Because we have to come to this part again later on anyway. Uh, so we can grab five metals off the wall here. And then, as we see, when we come into this big area, we've got, like, this big kind of weird portal thing. Grab some five organics on the right-hand side, and we're going to scan the um, lock mechanism here on the right. So, we're going to scan that, uh, but we can't actually do anything with it until a little bit later on. So, I could have waited until we come back here. Um, don't know if it probably was a bit of a waste of time coming here uh, this early. But still, you know, just, just letting you know it's there, so... Now, though, we are going to go back to where we were and finish, try and finish off chapter 5. So, press Y. Let's go back to the deserted Pinoir of the Pine. Of course, deserted Pinoir is French for deserted Pine, right? Yeah, well, it is now. Right, so, once we are here then, let us go back through the way we came. So, obviously, if you've been following along, you would have already got uh, rid of the gunk in this back passage. <laughs> you were a douche that clean. <laughs> right, so basically, if we go to the right, uh, just keep following it along, and then eventually there's going to be a, another right side opening up past these rocks. Bam, throw up rock. Easily missed. Can be easily missed. It, it took me a while to realise that. So, this is the part which I mean, which where the stun gun would have come in handy. Of course, we need to actually um, scan one of these gunk spitters as well, which we didn't do the first time because we got... <laughs> those douchebags just fell straight off. Now, we didn't get the um, gunk spitter scan the first time, of course, because because we were going for the achievement. Although you could, could have probably um, scanned him as well, so that was probably my fault for not letting you know that. There we goes then. So, let's get rid of a lot of the gunk first. Hide behind the rock so, of course, he doesn't whap you... <laughs> so he doesn't whap you one. And what we're going to do is just... So it does give you like two or three seconds to run to the next section. <laughs> Except for me, who just decided to stand straight in the way. Again. So let's not try to stand in the way anymore, eh? That, that shit hurt, man. That shit really hurt. So let's jump over to the left-hand side platform. Oh, man, seriously. <laughs> this is not going well. I'm supposed to be good at this, telling you what to do. Again, there was a little bit of a green section that you could have just stayed outside, but uh, with the gunk spitter still alive. Again, this is another one where I kind of do this ass backwards, and <laughs> this is where a stun gun would have come in handy, so we can stun him, then scan him, and then kill him. So, let's do it the hard way, shall we? Fantastic. Right. Shooting him with your normal plasma cannon is not going to do anything, so just get straight up to him. And just try and scan him as quickly as he can. So there we go. That's a scan complete. We should now have an upgrade. Unlock the persistence core. And now what we're going to do is... Now what you can do is actually just run straight up to him. Because as soon as you start gripping him, he can't shoot you. So just run straight up to him. As soon as he shoots, run, grip, and kill. There we go. So that's how we do it then. So again, made that a little bit harder on myself than, I, than it needed to be, but... Uh, well, we've got the scan, and we've now got the two alien materials that were stuck out of him. Oh, mate, I tell you, I... Uh, let's try to stop dying, shall we? That sounds like a wondrous plan. But just have a look around and just get rid of all the gunk again. So 
So just taking a look around, uh, nothing organical yet, but we have an energy fissure and we have a ball sack that we can throw in to uh, do a little bit of growing. And I'll tell you what, the police would be all over this, specifically uh, growing a lot of weird plants and weird herbs. Yeah, the police, in fact, they probably wouldn't be all over it. They're too busy trying to catch someone on a scooter for, you know, laughing at them or something. I, that might just be British police, to be honest. Well, because we all know what the Americans are like. <laughs> Touchy subject. Right, pick up the three organic on the left-hand side. And then jump up, grab the old water ball. And that should be another eight organics. Oh, the police are very different. I'd rather the police from um, Dubai, to be honest, because... I mean, you get beaten the crap out of. Uh, have a, uh, just go underneath this underwater, this underground cave right here. Very easily missed, but just get all the gunk out of here. Um, but yeah, with the Dubai police, I mean, yes, you get arrested for so much as looking at the floor in a undignified way. You get arrested and beaten the crap out of um, for a couple of years. But, I mean, their police cars are absolute bangers, so... Uh, well, up to you, isn't it? Depends what you want, really. Right, so this was another section for me that for some reason I could not find the tiniest, tiniest little bit of gunk that I had left. So you've got to climb up these platforms, get rid of all the gunk again. And again, I'll show you the edited part. So we are still in the same area. We do need to just uh, climb over here. So again, we'll just jump, wait for the next one and jump, jump. And then that should be good. So now you should be golden as nuggets. But, for whatever reason, it didn't work. So, we are still in the same area, but I'll show you the edit. It's basically at the beginning on these two um, platforms. It was like the tiniest, tiniest bit, which was on the edge. Uh, uh, and again, that took around 10 to 15 minutes of pure annoyance and pure frustration to realize that I'd missed just a tiny bit. So, again, just be careful with that bit. So, jump up on that platform there, grab the eight fibers out of there. Go over to the right and grab another three metal sticking out of the ground. And yeah, lovely. Now we can just jump up and across. And we're going to the... Uh, go, go, keep going straight, sorry. And the opening is directly in front of us. Sorry, almost. Again, it's always a case of trying to go forward, but always looking at... <laughs> trying to look where the organic material is. Now, this is the part where the stun gun would have come in mega handy. There are three gunk spitters here. And when we jump down, um, there are obviously also a bunch of gunk critters as well. That's another way you can stun them, by the way, which I completely forgot about. You can grab one of their balls th and throw it back at them, and that stuns them. Um, but, of course, it does take a while when you're trying to get... <laughs> when you're trying to um, kill these gun critters. Now, me thinking that I can just jump down um, and, s and slice them and kill them this way should have been easy, but for some reason I made life very difficult for myself. Um, but if you don't have the stun gun, it can take a little bit of time. So, try and kill all the aliens as quick as you can. Um, there's only about four or five, but for some reason I made a complete hash of that. Now it's a case of trying to avoid the gunk spitters, um, which isn't too bad. Oh, sorry, there is another one right there. So, again, just keep an eye out. Keep your eyes out, literally, constantly. Um, we obviously can't jump up on anything that doesn't have a bit of green throw-up on it, which is uh, quite annoying for some reason. So I'm basically one hit away from death. So just keep your eye out. Always have a look as well for the little white arrows. Again, something I forgot to say earlier on as well. Have a look at where the white arrows are, which you will see something coming towards your general direction. But have a look here, there is another gunk spitter there. So, as soon as you can, just move forward. And again, there's gonna, there are going to be little critters that do appear. So just keep, keep your eye out. As long as you, um, hopefully you haven't got yourself nearly dead like I have, to be honest. Remember that the gunk spitter is on the rock to the left of us. Keep uh, getting rid of all the Gungenhausen. And there is another one directly in front of us. But what we can do, grab this critter, slam him up the butt. Get out of here, you stupid douchebag. So, again, just ignore everything. Go to the rock on the right-hand side of you. Again, <laughs> that, was a, that was pretty much a close one. But immediately try and get rid of all the gunk. Climb up. And then there is going to be a bit of greenness for us. So that's where it was then. So, 
just go to the left hand side here go behind this rock and that is where the green rock is so that is where you just needed to find those two bits of rocks um, and then you can get up here and now you should be golden because we do have a two stroke explosion ball which will be good enough to kill all three gunk spitters so yeah if you done if you've done it as poorly and <laughs> as executed poorly as I just did you may find that bit a little bit tricky um, but if you take your time like I didn't then you should be hopefully you should be absolutely fine um, but there was quite a few enemies in that particular section, but it should be all good. So, once we have finally killed all three Gunkarinis... Stupid spitters. God damn, they suck bows. Right, finally. Right, now what you can do is freely just go drop down and grab the rest of the Gunk. It'll, be, should be, it'll probably be in various places for you as well. So just jump down and keep having a look around. Ba -ba. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so finally, that part of the life is done. So remember, hopefully by now you would have got the achievement at this point for killing a gunk spitter without him noticing you and for scanning a gunk critter as well. So hopefully you got those two done. Because again, if you do finish the game without getting any of those two, sadly you will have to start another game. Because as I said earlier, if you finish the game, all the enemies disappear and you've basically screwed yourself with a screwdriver um, up the butt. And that is painful since you've just gone through hours of it. Not putting a screwdriver up your butt. Anyway, climbing back up to the rock place, we're going to grab the little ball sack from right there. Oh, you son of a... God damn it! Just go in! Ah, oh, that was... That's not the best rim job I've ever had. I mean, throw in a ball and it gets stuck on the rim. Obviously, that's what I meant. Everything else is sacrilege. So, if it does get stuck, <laughs> grab another one. And when that um, platform comes up then, we are going to grab yet another one. Because as you can see, directly in front of us, make sure to throw it. But don't throw it on the edge, because it does give a little bounce, uh, which will fall off. Which, again, can be infuriating. Throw it to the other side, the other energy fissure. That will go get another couple of red mushroom things to... Um, uh, which will appear so we jump down we grab another three metals there was another alien piece of DNA right there oh nice again you can take this home sell it to the sell it to the FBI and you know make it bank some money but apparently not so jumping onto this platform we've got the wart sack and we've got five pieces of metal there as well so not as many um, materials as you'd expect but jump down and you'll see this opening <clears throat> um, on the left, so we can now grab the tail hive, um, use the rope to pop that one down. And this is basically now back in the main area. Um, if you haven't noticed where we are, this is in the main area. We can pull the chain switch, that is going to open the gate for us, which we can shoot, and finally go through. And, ah, see, it's, it's all fun. Right, now I'm going back to the campsite. This is the part where I actually finally get the stun pulse upgrade, which personally I should have done earlier. Screw you, Bex. You can have mechanical legs like mine. Screw you, Kurt. You don't even do anything through the game. And there it is then. So now I get the stun pulse array, which, like I said, I should have got earlier, So, um, which would have just made little parts a little bit easier. But now you can literally just shoot the crap out of everything. Even the big beastly alien ones uh, just get stunned by this. So it's a win-win for us. Upgrades coming blemissimo in our face. So let's go back to the deserted Pinois. And you know what to do. Turn around, shoot the crap out of that thing. And we are done with this chapter in about 20 minutes. Um, so we've still got another lower part of this area to get through. So I mean the chapter's not bad, but it is just very long. So to the right there, as you can see, we've got three fibers again to stick out of the ground. And if you go up to the right, because uh, you can't actually go anywhere else for the moment, go up to the right of this little um, bit of banking and we can go straight through. And we... 
Uh, well, we're into the next section. We're going through your back passage again. Let's clear up some more gunk. Especially if you've had some Indian food, that's a lot of gunk to clean up. Um, <laughs> hilarious, right? Wrong. So, and to be fair, I really love Rani's optimism and the fact that she finds just all of this whole thing just beautiful. It, it, it brings a tear to your eye. Alright, so the left hand side as we jump down, we've got another couple of organics there to pick up, so make sure you've got the three of them. And uh, have a look behind the switch, and we're going to get a couple of fibres as well. So make sure to grab all three of them. Otherwise, that is it for materials in this particular area. Now, jump on the lift, slap the switch, and... Get up there, boy! Right, now we're going to see. This is the start of the delicious section. There is going to be a gunk spitter. So immediately turn around and stun the crap out of this boy and kill him. <clears throat> this is it for the next little bit now, so kill that spitter, uh, get rid of the gunk. Sorry, Rod and Todd from The Simpsons. Right, so when we do this bit, we can grab the metal, and the opposite side, just by the switch, is another bunch of metal for us to grab out of the ground, so make sure to pick them up before moving on. And when we do that, turn around, slap the switch, and there's going to be two gunk spitters on this next floor, so immediately just turn around, stun the one, kill him, stun the other one, kill him, job's done. Get rid of the gunk, and then up the guts. Oh yeah. Okay, so apparently we got that one eventually then. <laughs> right, grab the five organics from the lump fruit and the opposite side of the room. I grab a couple of fibres out of the ground as well. Or organics. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's either organic or fibre. It's it's always one of the three, one of the two. Right, pick up the lift. And do you think we're going to go nuts? Kill something up here? No, we are. Nice, we finally made the outside, actually. What the hell is that? There's a huge tower structure on the other side of the river. Maybe it's the same as the thing you've just gone up. So, once again then, before moving on... Right, Bex, if you could stop yammering! Eh? Jesus Christ, I know women like a good chat, but... I'm trying to be busy, try not to die and stuff. So, before moving on, we are going to grab these uh, eight bits of fibre from that particular nutsack. And in fact, that's the only thing that's here, so... Just go down here, take it all in. Cry if you want to at the beautifulness, or... Carry on like normal because you're not a fanny like me. I, I mean, I didn't cry at this part. No, no, no. Of course not. The signal's still strong, right? Are you kidding? It's pounding louder than my heart. What the? Is, is that thing alive in there? I've got this. So. Don't particularly worry your nutbags off about these drones. They are literally nothing. You can't scan, you can't shoot, so there's a good one. Now, there's going to be just two bits of materials that we can grab in this area. So go around to the left. And as you can see on the left-hand side there, three metal. Very easily missed, missed again. And just keep going around. And on this next platform here, just to the left, is going to be another bunch of fibers for us to grab. Should be another three one to the right of you, knob cheese. Yeah, there we go. Hey, yeah, Jesus Christ. Sorry, I, myself was knob cheese then, by the way, in case you were wondering. I'm not calling you. You guys and gals are my saviors, my lovers, my friends. Uh, Senor Ding Dong is me, by the way. So, 
pull the switches and well what you wouldn't particularly want to do is if you see a big alien thing and a big whatever the hell that was the last thing you do really is pull a bunch of switches you don't know what's going to happen and reveal him to be alive and try and get him out that's probably something you wouldn't do but uh hey this is video game logic baby and this is what we do in video games all right so to the left as we jump down here go around to the left and you can see five metals out of the analog thing right there before pulling the switch again very uh very well hidden some of these things pull the switch and that's another one down so what we have to do is now pull another two switches but we have to jump down to the right and you know do a bit of platforming do a bit of not dying ready to jump run there we go lovely so we do have a gunk spitter now we should have a stun uh stun gun parade pulse array sorry now that just makes life a little bit easier so we don't have to do as much dodging stun him kill him get rid of the gunk in this area Oh boy, something else has made a bit of a hash on that one then. <laughs> but uh, no, once we're all good, make sure that we grab another couple of materials. There should only be three. Somehow growing underground. I tell you what, the apparently the main villain of this this game is um, well, he's actually a legend. Getting everything underground for us for this yummy, delicious alien to eat. So, pull the switch and this is just it again. So make sure to do a nice little bit of sprint, run and jump. Jump down to the right, jump down on the next set of platforms, and again, there are two gun spitters down here, so give it the old stun, run, gun, and kill. One should be up on this platform, and there should be another one just behind the gunk that we suck up. So, if you want to do a bit of overkill, you know, stun the crap out of him as well. You can't beat a bit of overkill. Also, on this bit, you're going to see a little bit of an edit. There is gunk on the platform to the right, um, which I've already got rid of. But for some reason, I kept falling off this platform about five or six times, which is really annoying. So from here, there is a bit more gunk, as you will be able to see. And then there'll be the rest of the gunk on the floor. So as soon as we do this... La, so pretty and witty and bright! Uh, <coughs> You know what, never mind, scratch that last bit. Yeah, we'll put that off the record. Right, under the pipe you see three organics. This should be the only thing that's there. There's nothing else anyway. So now we can pull the switcheroonie of life or -oni. Um, uh, Naughty Rainy. Naughty Rainy, man. What you do? What you doing, kid? Right, another bit of platforming. Jump down, and as you can see, there's a whole bunch of gunky junk on the left. Um, there is no gunk spitters this time, so just relax, take your time, enjoy yourself. Try not to fall and not to die. Right, here we go then. So, do you want to see what you've just awoken? You've awoken the beast of life. This is like Beauty and the Beast, except we look... I mean, Rani looks kind of like a little... Like a little ant thing with big eyebrows. And the beast just kind of looks like a beast. Uh, unfortunately, there's not going to be any love story, because, as we'll be able to see, holy crap. So, the one thing that... How we defeat him... Stand behind this rock, he's going to charge and get stunned. Immediately scan him, 
because we need to scan him. There we go, Gunk Beast. And then what you need to do is go behind him and then just press the right trigger to get the uh, spot balls off his back. What doesn't happen for this particular area, for whatever reason, you can't stun him. You can st stun the beast a little bit later on, but not for this one. So, get behind him, suck the gunk out of his back. Now, go behind this next rock. <laughs> Holy crap, that uh, did actually cack my pants right there. So, that's all you got to do then. Go behind each rock. He's going to stun himself, and then you just press the right trigger behind his back. So, we're literally talking behind his back. Ah, sorry, buddy. And there we go. That is how you defeat those particular uh, gunk beasts. The, he should now give off about 10 alien uh, pieces of material in DNA. So make sure to just have a little look around. There's nothing else to collect at all. It's just the uh, little bits of alien DNA that we're going to grab. Um, but yeah, so for the gunk beasts in the future, you can just stun them, walk behind them, and um, suck them dry um, until they die. Wow, that's, um, I think that's every man's dream of how to go. Right, when you've got all the alien material that you think you've got, you can now open the pod, and a nice cutscene's gonna happen with this weird alien rhino thing. Hello, my name is Nice chins, bro, and a nice, a nice wiener nose. Yeah, it looks bigger than mine. I've got wiener envy right now. So, here we are cutscene begins. That was the end of chapter 5. I told you that was a long old cutscene that. Bex is all pissed off now. She just... You need to take that stick from out of your butt. And there we go. So, we're not going to go across first. We do have to scan our new friend, um, which um, everyone calls him Harry, but his name's Harry. But because they're proper American, obviously it sounds like Harry. Harry. So, scan the um, alien wiener nose rhino thing. Uh, Harry, H Harry, and, and yeah, uh, make sure to scan him, and then if you want again, you can have a look and see if there's any upgrades, but I don't, I don't personally upgrade anything until we get the pulse cannon, um, which we get in just a little bit, um, so obviously the more uh, things we scan, the more um, upgrades are going to be available, and we do get the pulse cannon unlockable upgrade um, in the next section, now that we are into chapter 6, so... Hell yeah, bruh. And this is what I meant by earlier. So, um, scan Harry, and now we can move on. I'm going to get you a present, you douchebag. So, this is what I mean by it was probably a waste of time for us coming down here earlier, as we could have got the metal, the organics, and we could have now got the scan lock mechanism. Um, as long as you scan that lock mechanism, that's fine. We can now use the key, get yourself in the portal. Let's do this. Let's finish this. In about an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so this is where the fun begins. Nah, it's always been fun. Right, first thing we're going to do is scan what is called the turbine here on the left-hand side. So give this a scan. Don't be so pissy, Bex. And In fact, there it is. Then. So there's the power pulse. Now, this is the one we need to get the three for one achievement. And that's for basically killing three gun qu uh, critters in quick succession. But don't worry about it now, we'll come to that a little bit later on. Now, every time you use a turbine, that just um, moves a platform um, slightly. So, get it so it's facing you, so we can actually jump on it. And that we can. Um, you don't need to do that, you're literally fine where you are. I'm just being a bit of a dongleberry right now. Uh, so, um, shoot one of these ball sacks down. And then what you need to do is just throw him... Can we reach it? Yeah, we should be able to reach it. Let's LeBron this crap up, baby. So fly that one up, and then all we're doing when we get to the other side is just uh, collecting a few more materials. And that's literally it. Like I said, there's a lot of work that goes into getting literally three pieces of fiber. Uh, and maybe two bits of metal and stuff. But hey, it's what we got to do for achievements, and trust us, I think we've played a lot worse for it. I think we've done a lot worse for achievements as well, haven't we? Yeah, she is very angry. She... Have a look at her butt and see if there's a stick up there, will ya? Right. When you shoot that one down, make sure to press the right trigger so you can actually throw it and then throw it into the gunk. Because, of course, if you just shoot it, it'll fall down. So make sure to shoot it and then press the right trigger to suck it up and suck it into your hand. Grab another one of these nada butter ball sacks. Stick that in the energy fissure. And that is how we get through to the other side.
slap the gunk, move it on. Right, so, grab the three metal here before we can move on. Up, throw up rock. Uh, should be nothing left behind. We can just um, slowly move on now. Um, right, so for some reason, these last couple of chapters were my f most favourite in the game, weirdly. I don't know why. I just really enjoyed these bits. I think because chapter 5 was so long, it kind of... Uh, kind of done my my two stroke explosion balls in uh, by the end <clears throat> so a couple of things for us to scan again as we jump up there's another tail hive here we're gonna grab another five pieces delicious of uh, yum yums on the left of that though is the vegetation nursery which you have to scan at the top but that is the vegetation nursery so basically it's like little potatoes like ba more or less like babies. Um, on the right hand side, if you scan what looks like the bench, that should be the ruined booth. So that should be the vegetation nur nursery and the ruined booth. Two scannable items that we should have got there, and that is that. That, that is that for this section. Uh, but yeah, the vegetation nursery. So you pay in those. You pay in nurseries like two hundred and fifty pound a week to look after your baby potatoes and carrots. Nice, nice. Which is literally the same in real life, annoyingly. Right, now what I try and do here is go for the <laughs> for the gunk spitter, but I get literally bitten right on the nip right there. Uh, but now what these critters do is actually come after you. Earlier in the game, they didn't have the ability to come after you outside the red zone, but for some reason, they grew um, some more critter balls and, uh, well, decided to follow you, which makes no difference. It actually makes it easier for us because they all come outside <laughs> and we don't get spit at. By the gunk spitter. So again, make sure to kill them. Pick up all the alien bits of material. Go ahead, straight for the uh, critter, at uh, the spitter. Now, at this point, he didn't notice I was there. So if you didn't have the achievement, you could um, just go outside of the red zone and just creep your way back in, and then hopefully um, you can do it that way. Or again, you could just stun him and then press the right trigger as well. That's if you didn't get the achievement earlier on. But if you did, then. Yeah, you don't have to worry about it, do you? So, when we've got this bit all done, grab the two organics, basically in the middle of this area. And there's a couple of areas that we're going to go into now. And the first one is just up here, which is sort of to the left of where we were. Another me metalanium nutsack for us to rip open. Slice. Grab the eight pieces of metal there. And next, we are going to go um, up. Uh, no, we're not going up the foul tongue, sorry. Where we're going is on this set of little mushrooms. In fact, no, we're not. We're going to the opposite side, going to the red hot fungal peppers. Grabbing a bit of fibre. And now, apologies, we are going up the foul tongue. Sorry, I completely forgot what I was doing there. So, foul tongue, on the foul tongue, and then climb up this rope. Now, this is where we would go normally for story progression. So, again, we probably could have got this bit done a little bit later on, but grab the two metals out of there. Um, but hey, screw it. We've uh, well, we've got it now. So we can jump down now. We are going up these little pieces of lunar stool mushroom poops. Climb up the rope. Uh, I mean the rope. Uh, for some reason, um, Ranny has a little bit of issue trying to get up. So what you can do is just uh, jump up and then sort of jump and hopefully you, you will sort of I don't know. This, this bit's a bit weird for some reason. Anyway, on the right. Um, pull this ball apart uh, for another eight fibers there and that'll be that for that section make sure to jump don't use the rope jump down grab the red hot fungal pepper for another five fibers and jump behind you for another five metal pieces as well right so that should be as golden as golden nuggets for this bit so now what we can do is actually go back up the foul tongue and this is what I mean. I do apologise. A couple of times I've done this through the game where we could have gone... I could have done things a bit smoother in certain sections. This was one of them. But remember, we grabbed the metal from just behind us right there. It's quite amazing. You're saying everyone is trapped in there? Right, so, trying to jump across that would be make no sense. I mean, it would, but you'd probably fall to your death. So we're going to go to the left and jump down. And just uh, directly in front of us is going to be another three fibers, so pick them ones up. And this is another one of those sections, like the North and South Passage. But go over the bridge, grab another three organics out of the ground. So we have to go through two different areas in order to pull another bunch of switches. 
in order to move on. Jump down to the left hand side and right in the back here is another five lump fruits that we can grab. Um, yeah, for uh, five organics. Now if we go to the other side, again there's not much that we can grab but it all comes in handy. Right, so we need to open the lock grates, which again, north, south passage, blah, 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 that thing we've got to do again. So what we're going to do is put a beacon place down. There it is. Stick it down. So again, if you think that you've missed anything, again, we, we're going to use those signal beacons a bit later. But if you've been following the guide, you should be fine. So scan this big cart looking thing. And funnily enough, it's going to be called a ruined cart. So now... If you've been following along, you should have the Overcharge Upgrade Unlock um, available to you to uh, do as soon as we scan that ruined cart. Now we're going to be grabbing uh, two more things. The one is this metal piece right on top of this ruined cart. And then what we're going to do is actually go underneath and we're going to find some red hot fungal peppers. And that'll be another five... Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Man another five fibers for us to do okay so what we're going to do we're actually going to go back to the campsite now oh back so soon and if we head back to the install bench are you lazy sons of bitches doing any work no nah, i didn't think so but we are going to get the power pulse again as long as you've been following you should have enough materials in order to grab the power pulse because we are going to get the um, blasting three kunk, kunk gritters, uh, gunk critters to smithereens uh, within seconds. Um, so yeah, looks pretty powerful. Hey Bex, want some in your head? I ah, have that! Take my mechanical legs, you son of a biznitch. Ugh, why are you so angry? You, you, damn it. Right, didn't actually mean to do that. We, we're going to the sixth place, which is the abandoned city. So we'll just try that again. There it is. So we are at back at the abandoned city. Screw you, Bex. Take that stick out your butt snatch. Go behind you. And we are going through the first big passage. And basically these two areas. Uh, they're basically just like big puzzle areas. Um, and well, that's about it. So let's do it, shall we? <laughs> this first one is quite... It's not difficult, but uh, it takes a bit to get through. So we're going to head left here. Because there are a couple of things that we're going to grab. And the first two is directly above us. Two pieces of metal for us to grab. Move on. And what we're going to do is jump up on throw up rock. And jump again. Just press the A button once to jump directly behind you. Grab this metal ball sack. And that should be eight pieces of metal for us as well. Right now we can jump down. Moving to the main area. Now again with the, with the um, plasma power. As we grab two metals on the left hand side. It's literally left trigger and B as well. So that's your stun, your plasma, your power, whatever. It all comes under the same category. So from the metal, go directly in front of us for another five red hot fungal peppers. The five fibers. And now, this is where we're going to get the achievement. So one's already um, after us. But what we're going to do is just try and get three um, all sort of close together. So try and get three close together. Come on, douchebaggeries. There it is. So now we can just use it. So slam, slam, slam. They do take a couple of hits to go down, so just be aware of that. But as soon as you've got three together, there we go. Blast them all to smithereens. Blasted three to smithereens. So you don't have to... I'm not sure if you can just, like... I, I think it's a, an accumulative one. Whereas there is another gunk spit here, which we're just going to slam. But I think you can just do this... I'm not sure if you can do it over time. Or if you have to do it in quite quick succession. But it's always worth getting it out of the way. Getting three together. And just uh, smashing it out there. Again we've still got plenty of gunk critters left to go. Especially in the final area. Uh, so don't panic if you didn't get that now. Right so let us do the big biznitch puddle. P puddle. Jesus Christ. Puzzle shall we? Yes. <laughs> right so jump up on the mushroom poops. On the throw up rock. And jump up on the platform above. There is... Um, a, another piece of five metals that we can grab. And there's going to be the other. Uh, this is another turbine. Now, as you'll be able to see, we're, we're going to leave it for the time being. But we've got a couple of bridges that we can move. So, leave it for the time being. Because over this particular platform, we've got another couple of fungi peps. Uh, fungal pep guardiolas. So, grab five of them and then go back. 
So this area does have a lot of sort of back and forth, which by the end starts to do your big chunky nips in. I mean, not my big chunky nips, because mine are about the same size as little tiny Cocoa Pops. Um, not that you need to know my nipple size, but there we are. Something new you know about me now. We now, now we feel closer. So, use the turbine so that the bridge is facing the fowl's tongue, like so. So now we can go ahead and jump across to the other one. And jump across to the other side, get rid of the old Gunkin house. Oh, hey, guess what we got to do next? Yes, let's go on the lookout for some more organic yum-yums. There they were, just there. So, jump on the mushroom poops, jump up, and grab the um, red-hot fungi peps right there. Uh, so, that's another five fibers. And now we've got another um, turbine to use. So, guess what we're going to do? Yeah, you better hit go, you dead boy. Huh? You dead boy now. Now, you dead boy. So, the bridge just to the left of us there is now facing the opposite direction. So, now we can just jump down. And now we're going back to the other side. You can't beat a nice back and forth puzzle, eh? which is a pity. Uh, so jump on the old mushroom popes. Jump over to this next platform again. <laughs> we're going to use the next turbine. There we go. We're going to use that until that is the opposite direction as well. So now both bridges should be facing the same way. Not against each other. So we can just jump over. And jump over. And that's, well, that's that little bit done at least. Unless you fall and you have to minorly inconvenience yourself. But use the rope to go to throw that down just in case. Go to the right, grab a couple of pieces of metalanium rurus. Crap knows what a metalanium ruru is, but there we go. Grab one of these ball sacks. And then just past this rope, <clears throat> on uh, just in front of us now is going to be the nice energy fisher. So slam that boy in. Oh, yes, that went well this time. And we're actually going to jump on those same ones. So don't go down the rope yet. So just jump directly forward onto the red cap. I think the red caps, well, just makes it easier, doesn't it? Jump up on the throw up rock to grab another five pieces of organic. Jump down this little platform to grab another three pieces of fiber. And then what we can do from here is just jump down to the main bit again. Oh, it's all fun, right? Yes. Right, go through here and <laughs> jump up on the rope. You could probably hear my uh, voice is starting to get ever so, <laughs> ever so deathly now. Starting to take its toll on me. Oh, man, this is old. So we jump down the rope. There is the first lock chain for the lock grate. So that should be the first and the second. And now we're done with this area. Not as long as I remember, actually. For some reason, it felt like it took bloody ages. But it's actually not that long, luckily. So, now we can just go past. You can actually just jump down here and go through to the other side. <coughs> um, <coughs> God damn. Yes, this is quite the, um, <laughs> quite the tricky recording session for me. But, I shall prevail. I'm a man. I shall not cry. I've already cried enough in the night when I don't sleep. So, that's all good. Right. How interesting. Now, what do you think we could get is just like a big hammer or something and just hammer away or get a big chisel and try and chisel our way in, but apparently that doesn't work, so we've got to go through the opposite side to do yet another puzzle in order to crackle on. So, should we do it? That way we've done it for the first two and a half hours, so we might as well carry on. So, climbing up the rope... Heading down, there is another gunk spitter. Now, this is where people have tended to get the achievement. So, again, if you still don't have the achievement, but you should still have the stun gun one by now. But even if you don't, apparently what we can do, just like earlier, we can drop down. When the gunk is going around, you can hide behind it. You can hide behind the gunk going around. Um... And then obviously sneak up behind it and kill it. So that is just another way, if you don't have the achievement, for uh, killing an unaware gunk spitter, that is another way to get it right there. So just um, go around, hide behind the gunk, go up behind, job done. Again, you should have it um, by now, but that, again, that's just another way if you wanted to get get it done there. But like I said, you can stun him and kill him anyway, so sh you should, I'm hoping, be good by now. Right, from where we just were, go to the left, there's a little, um, a little alleyway right there. 
I call it an alleyway, with four, five bits of organic. There is an energy fissure there, but we will grab the old cheeky nut a butter ball sack in just a minute. So now we can jump down the hole, and now we can jump down this bit of rope. Again, quite a bit of gunk and malunkin to get rid of. <laughs> Only this time we're going to have to do a bit of uh, stunning and a bit of platform hop jump skipping. Because right, it's a bit everywhere. But we aren't going to get another scannable item down here. You don't think it's down here, but it is. So go to the right. Uh, you can try and get rid of that gunk, but it's probably just don't bother just yet. We can jump up here, get rid of the gunk, and there's going to be a um, gardener's thing that we can scan. So before moving back, um, scan this big, like, table kind of thing. Not that thing, that's the control panel, we've already done that. But the table, there it is, scan the table, and it is a laboratory counter. And so we've only got a couple uh, more left to scan now, but we won't get them for quite a while yet. So we'll just crack on, so what we need to do now, hop, skip, jump on the platform, look out for that tree. Go over, uh, straight over here. Now what you can do is keep getting rid of the gunk here and just keep stunning this... Oh, what a dodge! Mate, I am Matrix times 6. But Matrix times 6 better than the last film. Uh, but that's what you have to do then. So keep um, getting rid of the gunk, stunning the gunk spitter, and just going all the way around getting rid of the gunk until we get over to the gunk spitter and killing that boy. And once again, try not to do exactly what I've done here. I, there's a, <laughs> how I just done that, I don't know. But there is a gap, so you can either go through it, or you can do what I've done right there and jump and still miss. So stun that boy once again, because obviously what you need to do is just jump over the other side, get rid of the gunk, kill that, and then we're good to go. <laughs> And there we are then, so, <clears throat> excuse me, right, there's nothing of any interest here, all we got to do is just get rid of this ball sack, now there is an energy fissure right over the way, as you can see, probably just there, uh, what you can't do is actually throw it from here, so as you'll be able to see, you think you can get it, and then it just doesn't work, so how much of a pain in the ass is that? It's about sort of a two. 2 out of 10 on the pain of the ass. And we can't throw it over here as well. We're just too far away. So. Oh gosh, excuse me. So what we need to do then is throw it on the spinny boy platform. Take a jump across. <laughs> take a jump across. Again, if you can get onto the platform first time without falling, which I've done many a time in this game. That would make your life a lot better and easier. Stick it into the energy fissure. Damn, what a throw, boy. And then you can jump up onto these uh, lily pads things that have appeared. So jump, hop, skip. Oh, life is all good. Right, so that is the little underground section bit done. Now we can just get rid of all the Gunkenhausen once again. Uh, don't think there's any gunk critters. No, no, it's just gunk. So quickly, stick the spunk in the gunk.
Right, so for whatever reason, it's taken me, it took me way too long to figure out where the rest of the gunk was, and it was just on the other side. So, thanks for, uh, thanks for chilling out with me there. So, got a couple of foul tongues and a couple of energy fishers to get rid of, so, ball sack in that energy fisher. We can do a little bit of jumping humping, or just regular jumping, no humping. Um, grab the three fibers there from on top of the mountain. Lovely. Right, jump up on the throw up rock. Uh, in fact, what we need to do is actually grab another ball sack, so we can, then we can jump onto throw up rock. As we see, so stick that in the energy fisher. Okay, there we go. Now we can jump up onto throw up rock and get to the other side lovingly. Boop. Bam. Fantastic. Right, so now we are more or less at the end of this, but we do have a couple more materials to grab. So just behind the statue here is another two metals, and then if we continue to go up the steps, there's another... Have that in your armpit. And have that in your bowels. Yeah, screw you, Mr. Alien dude. Right, go up the steps there and grab another five metal pieces. Lovely. Where the hell are you sticking this, Ranny? I'm impressed. So, now we can just grab the switch, pull that, <coughs> and that is now the second gate done so that's the second lock done but like i said we've just got one a couple more materials left to grab so shoot the two second explosion um ball and grab another one grab it as quick as you can and then to the right hand side of you there is another set of rubble just there so i probably should have shown you the rubble first but that is where the rubble is so if you miss that one just try it again make sure to grab that go down to the left hand side here so we can pull a rope down Again, this is just in case we end up falling and, you know, we get stuck. We can come back up. Lovely. So, now we've set that up for another couple of materials. Again, to yourself, you're probably thinking, is it worth it? But it actually is worth it. Uh, so, grab the Nutter Butter Ball Sack and go directly behind you. Uh, well, behind where we were. So, this is a little bit of slow walking. A little bit of a... It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, this one. Just because it's so far away. But we're basically going up to where that little alleyway is. Um, f when we got here at the very beginning. There it is. So just keep on walk. I mean, to be honest, you could probably throw it and then walk and then throw and then walk. That probably gets it a little quicker, but... You know, what do I know? I'm not an expert of life. I'm barely an expert in being alive, to be honest. Right from here, do a good sprint and jump. Because it's so easy to fall off these things. A good sprint and a good jump. Jump to the other side. Wow, oh, good, good catch there. Couple of fungal peppers, lots of fiber there for us to collect, and that is well. That's us basically done now with this particular area. So, you can either go back up to where the big alien statue monument thing was and go from there, or you can just go the way I do, which is uh, slightly confusing for some reason. But where we jump down, you can actually just go back on throw up rock, up the rope. And then to the left and go back down that way. But I think the way they wanted you to go was um, through the rubble, through the gate uh, from earlier. But it makes no difference because now we are done with these both areas. Now this is where the nitty gritty begins. And we've only got less than an hour in uh, left to do it. So, oh yeah baby. So give them the old shoot of life and I get your bun sacks through there little ant ranny. Right, so it's not quite as easy as that, so let's just have a nice little close-up, is it? Hello! Hello! Nice eye, that is... That is one hell of a face. You definitely need to trim them eyebrows, Ran Ran. Look at that, and give your face a wash, man. We've seen lots of water. Uh, <laughs> but hey, you know, you, you still look prettier than me. Which is... Well, I've got pretty envy right now. So, just keep pressing the A button a couple of times anyway. <laughs> and then that gets us up. And then, wow, now we can finally, uh, now we can just finally move on. So, we're going to be coming up to Chapter 7 soon. You've already got the Ruined Cart one, but that is another Ruined Cart, if you needed that particular scannable item. Otherwise, you jump down, and we go through. Here we are. Now, do you wonder if, as we continue to go straight, this is the end of the game? 
Why, hell no, it's not. Um, we got to go through here, and then some things happen, and then we got to come back here later, and then we do a big fight, and then life is good. So for now, we're just going to keep on going straight. There is a lot of gunk here, but just like the gunk tower, we're not going to bother with it because you can't get it all anyway. It's literally a case of just going straight and enjoying your deathly surroundings. Alright then, so this is the main sort of area, and this is the big lift that we have to go up and up and up, but there's a few things, in fact there's a lot of things that we have to do first, so just by this main door that we have to go through, there are two tail hives, so grab your 10 organics, have a look in one of these red windows, and what we're going to see is a chair, which we can scan, so there's that one, and there is a, another panel which we can scan, so where the sort of white object is we're trying to get right now, um, we actually do end up going inside this room, um, but I end up getting it now just to sort of get it done uh, so it's out of the way and that we're not pissing a bat. So eventually, if you want to get this one as well, just jump up on the little pipe um, and then we can grab that then. Uh, yeah, probably, probably should have, it probably would have been easier to wait until we get to the, in, the actual inside, but we finally get it then. So you should have the environmental control panel and the chair as well so now we should only actually have the gardener left to scan to get rid of the achievement but again we're not doing that for quite the while yet so for now we can just go through the green door with the two tail hives And so when we get to this area, there's going to be a couple of materials that we're going to grab. So as you can see on the left, that is the way to go. But first of all, we are going to grab... Uh, uh, come on, Randy, stop stop talking and start running, girl. Stop talking and start running. Right, so grab the ten bits of organic from the lump fruits. And then over to the other side is... I think we're going to find some metalanium nunus. In fact, it's completely not metal. It's ten fibers. So... Close enough, except I was completely way off. Right, so when we get there, we can now jump over. We can go back onto throw up box. Uh, shoot the sign there on the shoot the um, trigger on the right hand side. What? I. Everything okay? Just fine. Well, Gee, are we done with this place yet? Bax, can we just? I'm busy, Ronnie. Don't waste my time. <laughs> Stubborn pig headed. Oh, now this is the room with the chair and environmental panel in. So, uh, as you can see, there, scan complete, but of course, we've already done it. But if you wanted to wait until now to do it, that is where you should get those two. So, now we can actually pull the chain switch, and that is going to get the lift moving. Oh, well, when we shoot this little trigger switch, then it's going to get the lift moving. Um, <laughs> wow, Bex. The, the, yeah, we're just wasting your time, so why are you asking me with wrenches, you stupid? Oh, you stupid bar stool. Right, get the switch going. Get yourself up. Right, here we go. This is it now. This is it. The big main boss. It is not right now, but it will be coming up <laughs> in about 50 minutes. <laughs> Actually, Ronnie, you do waste my time. You waste our time and our resources. And I just can't believe you set out on this crazy mission without my consent. We're supposed to be a team. How can we be a team if you don't trust me? Why should I trust you when you keep messing up the plan? We didn't come here on a rescue mission. We came here to... 
to rise, to get things straightened out, but you keep twisting everything up! This is exactly what I'm talking about. You not looking beyond your own nose. And when I try to explain, you dismiss me. It's not that I don't believe you, but you do this. We have to own problems. Bex, the radio's cutting off. You're not gonna... I might as well just... Bex! Bex! So there's nothing in this area except to run through to the main door and face your fears, face your consequences. I mean, it's a pretty, you know, we've only got small little mechanical legs. It's a, it's a hell of a distance she's travelled, isn't it, to be honest? While Bex has just sat there on a fat butt doing nothing and being pissed off at us for nout. Anyway, so this is the area later on... This will be the last area where we can put a signal beacon in order to get all of the upgrades. So we'll be doing a lot to get we'll be doing a lot to get back to this point, getting a lot of materials, and in this room right here, just before we go and see the gardener, which is the main boss, um, there will be a signal beacon that we can grab as well. So again, do not panic. If you don't have all the materials yet, we will grab that just before we face off to the gardener a second time. But otherwise, for now, shoot the switch, get your ass in. Right, so like I said, we're not fighting the gardener yet, so this is the only sort of move he does. He gives off this big massive laser beam, which of course will kill you dead if you get in the way of it. Um, we can't scan, I did try and scan him, we can't actually scan him yet. So when we come back later on, and we um, the, the shield goes down, that's when we're able to scan him. But for now, all we're going to do, wait until he shoots his laser beam, and then there should be a little yellow hatch for us right in front of us now. So just bend all the pins off that. And that will get us the next cutscene. And in fact, what it'll do will pull us in a completely new area and put us into Chapter 7. Holy crap, run, run! What you do? Okay, so now we are into the wasteland then. The only purpose, we're just going to keep walking forward for a minute. Rani's basically going to black out and then we're going to see a little light in the distance, which we need to go to. So the whole purpose at this point, uh, there's not a lot going on, but there are a whole bunch of alien gunk beasts. Uh, not too many, but we need to get an achievement. Uh, there's not too many of these left in the remainder of the game, so this chapter is the best place to get this. Where you just need to get one alien gunk piece to basically charge into another one. And I'll show you exactly how easy it is to get it a bit later on. But for now, all we're doing then is just walking into these bits of light, getting rid of the gunk, and that'll get off this little energy fissure, which will give us more health. Because the more you wander around in the dark, um, the more health that you are actually losing. So... That's why you can't wander around too much in the dark. And again, we're not... Um... Sorry, if we go to the right, we're just basically heading towards the moon. Uh, so if you ever get stuck, just head towards the moon and that is where you're going. Um... So yeah, with the energy fishers there, this is basically it for this entire chapter. It's a lot of walking, talking. Can't run because she's injured her rib, apparently. Mmm, ribs. <laughs> not human ribs, but just pig ribs. Pig ribs is fine. So anyway, heading towards the moon there, this is where the next light is. So just get rid of the gunk here, and this is going to be where the second energy fish is going to appear. 
So if you do feel like you're running out of health, just go back to one of these energy fissures and wait until you get full health and you should be fine. Now to find the third one might be a bit tricky. I make a bit of a pig's ear out of this one again. But all we're doing is just heading towards the moon again. That's all we've got to do. So for whatever reason, I'm going on my jollies. But there's the moon. Head towards it. And eventually you should start to see it. Um, there's an alien gunk beast. Now I start going left because I think... Let's not. Let's try to not get run over by that. That would come in incredibly mega handy. Um, so I go around the back of it. And to be honest, I am kind of waiting to die right here. Which is kind of morbid. But it's Am's truth. And actually, at this point, I'm wondering where the hell actually am I? Because the moon's gone. Where's the moon gone? But that's all you're doing, okay? Don't follow my footsteps. I only went around that way to avoid the gunk beast right there. All we are doing is following the moon. And we will get to the next point. Come on, donkey cheese. Right, there we go. So we found the moon again. Um, Come on, donk. Jesus Christ. And eventually, eventually, we are going to see the light of life. It should be on our right. You could probably just see. It's like a little beam of light that uh, is coming off the moon. Just to give you a little tip there if you do get stuck. A very, a very small hint of light. Uh, but this is the third energy fissure. And this is the one which actually gives us a checkpoint. So if you do end up dying, you'll just come back here. But directly in front of us, as we're following the moon, I am good. It's a... It's a bit of an edit skip right now I'll just wait until I basically turn around but if you turn around here again and look towards the moon as we go now so we're looking towards the moon again exactly the same place where we are keep walking forward and then over the way three gunk beasts are going to appear remember we're going to stun these boys so immediately stun the first one and try and get in his way so that one of the gunk beasts charges into him and that is how you get that achievement nice and easy Lovely, take charge. So that is how you do that. So stun, get in the way of that one you've just stunned, and hopefully you should get charged right up the poop to snatch. That'll be your achievement, and now we can get and now we can kill him. Now, if you leave it alone, if you sort of kind of walk backwards a little bit, I think one or two of them actually might run off, so you only have to fight one. But all you gotta do then is just keep stunning them and try and get behind them and uh, press the right trigger to suck their big bollock off. Big ball off, sorry. So just keep standing. As soon as they're awake, stun them, get behind them, and just do that. It may take a few minutes, but it's the safest and easiest way to do, and I would never let you down. Except for the four times I have already in this guy. <laughs> oh, awkward. Right, so finally smash them up. Now what I would do is just go back to the energy fissure, get yourself all healed up nicely, and then just keep heading towards the moon. That is the main point, and that is uh, where you'll know where to go. So just keep heading towards the moon, and eventually Ran Ran is going to see some kind of civilization, like a pipe. And that's about it, and then she goes, all oh, right, I know where I am now. Why? something pumpkin we should have just gone straight home Max must be sick of cleaning up after me like when I crashed that transit shuttle and she took the blame or, or when she stayed with me all night after I lost my arm I'd still be paying my way out of that contract if it wasn't for her
This must lead somewhere. To another mine or or back to the garden. Uh, at least this a direction. Bex? Harry? Anyone? There's something here. So not a lot left to do in this area, luckily now. So all we're doing is literally, we're going to pull off the hatch here. We're going to have a little conversation with what looks like Harry's dead rat brother alien thing. Um, and then, again, all we're doing when we get out of this bit, all we do is follow the moon. It's literally one path. One path up, following the moon, until we get to the end and Bex saves our ass. Oh, oh And there we go, now we're dead. So, the end. Right, all achievements unlocked. Bye-bye. Well, apparently that's not it, because we've still got roughly uh, just under 14 minutes left now. So, uh, woohoo! Get in there, babies! Right. Now, oh, apparently I was halfway stuck between the ground then. So, well, thanks for that, Bex. You're still pissed off with me that much, you? Okay, so we get a story-related progression achievement. What we are gonna... Hopefully get if you find a few more metals than I have is get the all-in achievement So upgrade everything that you possibly can just upgrade the nut sacks off it again Hopefully you've been collecting all the alien things and um, all that as you can see I am still missing one and the reason is because I need um, 18 metals So remember at the very beginning of the game. I said I'd miss some metals We'll, we'll go and grab these now. So head basically um, straight and up the rope. Go around the rock right here. And then all the way on the left hand side is going to be another five. Again, doesn't matter if you don't get these because we're going to collect a whole bunch more metals now in this final chapter of ours. Yes, we are on chapter eight. <laughs> Finally. So we now have since we grabbed those five we've literally got less than 10 which i'm gonna be honest kind of pissed me off first and in fact i think i've spent about 30 to 40 minutes going through each level trying to find more metal and more um materials um when i just actually could have you know just cracked on with the game and we got a lot anyway so but hopefully you will be in the same boat as me if not better um but again, like I said, I'm going to show you all the materials anyway, even the organics and fibers and alien stuff. So I'm going to be showing you absolutely everything, so do not panic. So back to the abandoned city then. We're going to try and go and fight the gardener for the second and final time, hopefully. <clears throat> now, at this point, I'm actually going and trying to just see if there was any more metal about. Um, but there was not. There is no metal up here. So just head towards the <laughs> gardener's house or mansion. I suppose if you're the biggest villain in the game, you would get yourself a mansion, wouldn't you, really? Because why not?
So, we are back at the same bit, only this time, things are a little bit harder. There's a whole lot of gunk everywhere, and it's not going to be as easy as walking in and getting the lift straight to the top. We've got a lot of fighting and a lot of gunk to do. So, from here, what we can do is just head to the right. You can just see this little platform there on the right. And then what we're going to do, there is a switch we can shoot just, um, just in front of us. So, wait till the gunk gets out of the way. Shoot the switch. If you can, it might be a little bit tricky because you're so far away, the aim assist doesn't actually snap on. So you have to be nice and manual with it. If you hit it, that is where we get the elevator to come to the other side. We can shoot it, but there will be gunk coming towards you. So again, just be careful for this next bit. You're going to get gunked and spunked on. So, sorry, just gunked. Just gunked. Leave Randy alone! She hasn't done anything to you except killed you all, god damn it. So anyway, when we get here, you're going to see this little ramp we can go down. Again, just get rid of the gunk that is in your way. And we can just jump over. Since that is pretty much the only way to go. So jump over again. Try not to do exactly what I just done there and fall down. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, bloody hell. I bet you can't wait to stop hearing my COVID-assed voice. Um, anyway, that's it, and now we are back on the inside, only this time again, we have got a, quite a bit to get through. It's not as easy as just going straight up now, there's a lot of gunk, and a lot of sort of puzzles that we need to solve, so, we're gonna go to the left, first. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Swedish Henry, and just go up. I wish you had better news. <laughs> no, it's it's just an expression here. You like a uh, okay. Never mind. <sighs> Thanks for the warning. Right, so when we get to this portal then, what we're gonna do is use the key. Just like we did um, back at the campsite, use the key to get through. Well, that come in handy. Cheers, Henry. Or Harry. Right, now we're going to pull the switch. And just like earlier on, we have to do a little bit of platforming. But it's not as bad as the last one, so just jump down. Sprint and run over to the other side. Go all across. So this bit isn't particularly too bad. It's as soon as we get rid of this we basically then have to do fighting on the left and then we gotta unstick it and yeah it's a bit feels a bit annoying um if we look behind us right here that is where we go to jump up because now i'm thinking where am i going but then i pan the camera around and go oh right well i'm stupid aren't i ridiculous turn the camera around again and then we're just going to keep going and jump down and there's the second one but yeah, this whole lift thing, you know, if it was just a lift of fighting enemies for three rounds, that's fine. But it's the fact that they kind of, I, I feel like they just dragged this bit out mega. A uh, lot of gunk here, by the way, so kind of, you know, watch your ass, don't get gunked on. Um, and we're basically just going to go back the same way we came, but yeah, th this bit kind of just dragged. Kind of dragged for me. Even though we've only got 30 minutes remaining, it did kind of drag. The fact you had to go up and down and... Just back and forth, pain in the ass. Right, so when we get back down to the main ground level, we're going to go through here, try and avoid the old gunk drip drip. Uh, get the gunk all done. Only a little bit in this particular section. Honestly, there it is. <laughs> so that's something else we get in. Lovely. Right, going back under. So this bit will probably be familiar to you, except this time we have to do work. Man, come on. We've done like three, four hours of work now. I think... I think we're done. We're done for the day. Can't we just go to the gardener, beat his ass, job done. Sell it to the, sell it to the sun. Ugh, the sun, not the scummiest newspaper on the planet. Right, uh, so, oh, you cheeky twank. 
Right, Gunk's going to attack us again, so just keep slapping that out. Nice, nice. Right, so we were back in that chair slash environmental control panel room, going out and heading up these rocks. We are now back in the main locked room with the lift. So, as you can see, there's a lot of gunk that we unfortunately need to clean. It's the part that really just dumb my tits in, to be honest. So, into the room on the right. Um, I only say dumb my tits in. It's easy, but it just felt a bit long-winded. Um, kind of like if you've done it so, sort of once, that's fine, but having to do this bit three times was annoying. So, stun these guys, give them the old... Um, I mean, these generally do look like an unshaved ball sack, which is always funny as well. Um, jump up, we're going to kill these guys, and <laughs> this is the room. We need to find one of those balls to chuck in that energy fissure, but it's pretty much at the very top for some reason. So, cheers to the devs for this one. <coughs> Excuse me if you just heard that one again. Again, you won't be catching COVID off me, so off my voice. I hope not. Anyway, I hope that's not a thing. Now I've just said that, the media will tell you that it is. Just to make everyone crap their pants again. Because the media are the real jerks of the world, right? Am I right, people? Yes, I am. So, what to do? Where to go? Right, we're going to be going back through this uh, main gate with the two hives on either side. And we've got two rooms that we need to do uh, slight puzzles in. So let's go into the uh, left one first. Don't need to go to the right one, because what we need to do is get rid of the gunk in here. I'll clean this mess up. Alright, there's nice. So that's all we're doing for here. We're going to go out and go into the right-hand side room. Or the right hand through the right hand side window. Um, throw this, grab that, and that's going to go in the gunk directly below. Bam! Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, that that bit done. There's three fibers, sorry, in the left-hand side window that we did forget to grab. Again, I don't need any more, but I'm going to be showing you where all the organics and fiber is anyway, so, you know, just in case you need it. Right, so jump immediately in front of us right there, and we're going to grab another couple of fibers. Jump back behind you, because what we need is a couple of bounds. So the first one, we need to go, well, well we need it to land on the spinny rotating boy. Because eventually that's going to smash that bit of gunk on the wall. And then we need one to drop on the floor like so. Pick it up. Throw it onto the gunk to the right of you. Bam. That gets rid of this section. Lovingly, jubbingly. So now we can move on. There's nothing else for the time being. So we can just jump over the tongue. Jump over the tongue. Climb up the rope. Now what I'm very happy with is we're going to find some uh, red hot chili fungal peppers right there. But there is some metal on the wall. Now, I, at this point, I was still crapping myself, just in case there weren't any more. But we've got another five metal. So if it is metal you need, make sure to pick that five metal up. Jump on the old um, lily pad thing right there. And that gets us through to the next section. Right, be careful. There are quite a few gunk critters in this room. So a few gunk critters and a lot of gunk to get rid of. So, well, you, um, you know what to do by now. And if you don't, well, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I've tried. Now, this was actually one that completely glitched on me. Like, I'd done all the gunk, but it wasn't registering that I had. So I actually had to restart it. Luckily, it didn't put me too far. I just had to redo the um, previous room, basically. So if you do get stuck and you have to restart, um, you'll have to do that uh, previous room again. So we're going to go back out. More gunk critters and more gunk anyway to get rid of. Make sure you picked up the 8 organic as well if you need it. But smash them, buddy! Smash them like Peppa Pig bacon bits! Yeah. 
Right, we're starting to get somewhere in our equally beautiful life. So, in this room, we need to do a couple of throwing. Um, throwing of the rubble, throwing of the gunk. So, the previous room, we need to grab these quickly, throw it over to the other side as quick as you can, pick it back up, and then throw it out onto the rubble as quickly as you can. Took me about three or four attempts, so hope it, hopefully it takes you one attempt, but that's what you got to do. you got to be quick with this one. So, like I said, you pull it, immediately turn around and throw it. Or if you want, if you want to throw it over to the gunk, you've got time to throw it at the gunk, but to put it on the ru uh, rubble down below to the left, you have to throw it over the other side, quick as you can, and then throw it down. Right. So, shoot the um, trigger, and then quite early on, uh, shoot the two second explosion ball. If you do it a bit late, it doesn't actually shoot the gunk off, so you just have to put the elevator back and then do it again. Uh, but that's not too bad, so go round to the other side of the room now. What you're going to see in this window is the elevator stuck there. Beautiful, so now we can just shoot the switch to go back to the other side. And as you can see on our left hand side, we've got a few things that we can collect. So, metal straight in front of us. Make sure to grab them, five bits of metal, shoot the switch again, and then jump over to this rock right here. Grab this old nut -a butter ball sack, and then throw it in the energy fissure down below. Well, you know what to do. You are the LeBron James slash, is this somebody better, basketball man. Yay, basketball. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm a huge fan of basketball. So, climbing down the rope, we've got another three bits of metal. And we have another little ball of delicious yum-yums. Fiber. So like pooping Weetabix. Imagine having eight bits of Weetabix. Jesus Christ. Shit's, <laughs> shit's drier than the Sahara Desert. Because that milk will run out eventually. Right. Make sure to grab another one of these nut sacks. Because we need to throw it again. Try and do it not totally over the edge. Throw it over the other side. And here we are then back into the main room. So r again, rather than walking, we're just going to keep on throwing it. Luckily for us, it doesn't explode, which is always handy and tidy. And now we can finally throw it in the energy fissure. Ah, now we can move on. So we're getting there. This will be the first um, lift done. But like I said, as soon as we're going up in the lift, make sure to grab a couple of organics there on the right-hand side wall. Uh, as soon as we go up in the lift, we're going to start getting a few enemies our way. Uh, not not overly difficult or anything, but always just be uh, aware. So now we are on top of the lift. All you got to do, you can't fall down. At least I don't think you can fall down. But just get rid of all the gunk. And this bit will disappear and the lift will start going up. Oh, it's getting exciting. Up we go. Right, so it's not really as bad as we think. So as soon as we get here, we're going to get stuck again, but we need to get rid of gunk and some gunk critters. So this is the first lift, the first part. Gunk critters are going to appear, so we'll just get rid of them, get rid of the gunk. And um, as soon as we do that, we can then be on our merry, merry way. So are we feeling merry? Yes, I think we are. Right, there's only one place to go, and that is on this little throw-up section right here, which I just about grab. I thought that was another failed platforming section there, but luckily for me, not this time. Make sure to keep jumping, because there are lots of platform gaps you can easily fall down. And we go into this next little room. So, stun these two gunk spit bags, and get the turbine to throw it around. You can do this in any order, it doesn't particularly matter. Um... But what we're going to do is go over, basically straight in front of us first. I don't know why I waited so long for him to appear. So stun both of them so you're not being shot at, of course. Get rid of this um, unshaved ball sack. 
Again, pick up the alien bits if you do need some more alien um, stuff as well. Give him a little shot as well. And then we're going to spin the turbine around again so we can go and kill that sons of biznarch. Fly him up. You can actually just, like I said, just you don't have to waste time waiting to, to get him stunned. You can just go straight up to him. Grip him by the old uh, by the old eyeball. But that's painful for him, isn't it? Vegans are fuming right now. You hurt a plant! I hate you so much right now! I'm sorry, Mr. V Mr. and Mrs. Vegans. So, spin the turbine around so the bomb platform is facing us. So, as you can see at the top, the other platform's moved. And we can shoot one of these nutbags down. What we're going to do is put in the energy fissure just on top of us there. Uh, but we do need another one to put in this energy fissure right here as well. Uh, for some reason, I thought there was one the other side when there's clearly not... So, <laughs> go back to where the other turbine was, throw that, and put that in the next energy fissure. Bam. I'm going to be a basketballer, Mar. Right, spin the turbine around again, just so it's facing the way where we can finally progress. Jump out of the foul's tongue, and that is this bit done. So, it taint bad, mate, taint bad. Just these bits sometimes do feel like forever. So, jump up, press A to jump back once. Without falling back down, such as I just did. And look to the right of you here. So we've got a couple of organics and a couple of fibers as well. So make sure to be picking those up. And that's it for materials, I believe. Yes, it is. So the platform should be like that for you. You can jump over to the other side. Grab, um... Uh, jump over to the next platform. <laughs> what we are needing is uh no nothing we're just gonna get all the gunk sorry i thought we needed one of those nut sacks to throw in the energy fishers but just get rid of the gunk and we're going for another fight of life Okay, so for this next one, there's going to be alien gunk beasts, but if you manage to do it quick enough like I do here, where he's just about to spawn and shoot him off, you can actually get away with not having to fight one. So, as you can see, one starts to spawn, I shoot him off, luckily, and that's it. I get rid of the gunk, and um, I manage to luckily get away with that one. Otherwise, at this point, you will have to fight one or maybe two alien gunk beasts so just be aware of that again just do the whole stunning stun them get behind them shoot them method um but like i said if you just about catch one just as they're about to spawn and you shoot them off <laughs> you can get away with not having to fight one but this is the final time then that we have to do a whole bunch of pissing around and getting past with this and then we can finally do the big fight which is actually an easy boss fight so don't um panic your ball sacks off about it i won't let you down Right, so, on to this next platform then. A couple of things we've got to do. It's not too difficult, though. Bunch of gunk critters, a gunk spitter, and some gunk to get rid of. So, you know the drill by now, buddy. Get in there. We're ever slowly getting there. So when this bit's done, we obviously have, as always, a few things to collect. So just buy the mushroom poops, grab four fibers and five more metal. So now you should know if you've been following me, we've got enough materials to do this, which is good. So jump up on the old throw up bits, and then we're just going to follow the linear path. And uh, this bit actually isn't as long as I thought it was, luckily. So we're going to use the turbine to spin the platform so we can move across to the other side. And then, so, jump down, go to the right, and you're going to see this little platform there. I did get slightly confused there, but just edited it down magically. Grab the old two second explosion ball, and basically you're just going to throw it in all three bits of the gunk. And that's how you do this bit. Wow, super complicated, right? Huh. 
And bam! More pregnancy! Wow, you men, you have to do better. Try and last for more than th two strokes and uh, three seconds. But it's hard, you know, sometimes. <laughs> right, jumping up on the uh, pad in these two foul tongues. Uh, give the ball a shoot of life so we've got the pad on the go. And we're going to grab another one of these balls. So make sure to grab these. Of course, we need to give it a throw, so be careful here. Throw it on the foul's tongue, just in the middle of it, so we can uh, go ahead and grab that. On to the next part. Bam! What a throw! I mean, Rani is very, very talented. I, she is an impre she, she is one impressive lady, uh, said Zeb Renegan. Zeb Renegan is Starship's law. Right, we're going to throw it on the left-hand side. Basically, the one where, with the uh, turbine... Uh, where we had to move the platforms, and we're just gonna keep throwing. We're just gonna keep throwing it and stick it up the uh, old ship's tailpipe. Uh, right, throw it up on the old um, uh, platforms right here, and there is going to be one more energy fisher that we can pop it in, and it is right here. So stick a jalapeno up that ship's tailpipe. And that is an awful impression, and I hope you won't judge me and unsubscribe. Sorry. <clears throat> right, but this is now basically it. So we can go and finally face Douchebag, who's who we didn't even need to help these people, but we can still go and face him anyway. So, get rid of the old gunk and trousen housen. But there is going to be one more surprise as we get to the top. A whole load of gunk, a gunk beast, and a whole bunch of gunk critters are going to appear. So just try and get rid of the gunk as quick as he can so more enemies don't spawn. Uh, and again, just try and stun the uh, big gunk beast as quick as he can. You can screw off, you little anal beads. Uh, but yeah, so just keep... Just focus on getting rid of the gunk so no more spawns. And then you can finish on focusing off the... Focus on finishing off the Gunk Critters and the Gunk Beast. Aha, have that. It doesn't actually stun them and I almost get... I almost got my head trampled on. So again, if needed, of course, don't forget to pick up the purple yum-yums. Of course, it's just something you would eat in real life. <clears throat> and we have finally, finally made it to the end. Now, like I said, the main boss, the gardener, is not all that bad. Um, a bunch of enemies do spawn, but all we are going to do is basically just focus on the task in hand. Uh, and again, like I said, all he does is shoot a laser beam at you. Instead of just, like, coming out of his cage and then just, like, eating you alive or whatever, he just decides to stay in his little bubble. So, tidy. But what we're going to do now, like I said earlier, when we get rid of all this gunk... <laughs> mate, seriously. I bet, I bet you're never going to want to see A, genital warts, or 2, any gunk again. Because it just reminds you of this game. And the fact you shouldn't really have genital warts anyway. You'd better go get those checked out. Have them frozen off. Oh, ho, ho. painful. But like I said earlier, when we get into this room, we are going to have the final signal beacon. And we can go back to the campsite and finally get the final upgrade that we wanted and that we need. So we should now, now, as long as you've been following, you should now have all uh, materials necessary to get every single upgrade um, if not, again, you can, again, there's no chapter select, but you can do this and go through each section again and try and find something that I potentially have missed. But, um, my friends over at Achievement Squad have a brilliant video where they have, um, they've basically done a video where all of the, um, harder resources are. So, if you are struggling for some, go check my buddies out at Achievement, uh, Achievement Squad. Sorry, my voice is getting a bit <laughs> right now. Um, yeah, go check them out if you are still struggling to find some resources. They have a brilliant video on where to find some well-hidden ones. Um, but that's crafted all upgrades, and I hope that I've 
basically covered all of the upgrades and all of the materials, or at least most of them, in this game, in this guide anyway. So, um, yeah. So it's a great video, like I said, for them if you want to go and check them out. But hopefully I've done this, you know, sort of similar, or enough that we have that achievement and we should now be good to go and you don't have to worry about that anymore. Right, clicks neck 12 times. Click, click, click. Ah, -ha. are you ready? Gladiators, are you ready? Let's fucking do this! Right, as soon as he starts bamming himself, run over to the right hand side. What we need to do is basically just pull a bunch of switches so that his shield gets put down. So don't worry if he starts targeting you, it takes a couple of seconds for it to um, appear. So we're going to use the key on that switch where we just found. Now that the, um, uh, basically the window's open. Run over to the other side. Now, a couple of gun critters. It's always worth getting rid of these gun critters because they are just... They, they, they are like gonorrhea. Like they, they're always going to be there if you just... You can't ignore it. You've got to get rid of them. So get rid of the gunk. Wait until um, the gardener throws his switch on again or his laser beam. Again, always worth just getting rid of the, gar uh, the bloody gun critters as well because they're pain in the ass. So, throw him. As soon as he does his laser beam, behind the gunk is a switch we need to pull out. Bam. So, again, even if he targets you, don't panic, because it takes about two or three seconds for him to do that. So, don't worry about that. Just keep running. More enemies are going to spawn, but again, just focus on the task at hand. So, keep running around. And what we're going to do, we are going to, remember, we've still got to scan the gardener. Right, there's the next switch. No gunk behind it, but make sure to pull that one out. Ignore everything for the time being. Bam. Right, now his shields are down. Remember, we have to scan the gardener. So, before attacking him, right bumper yourself, and there we go. Scan the gardener. Now, you should get that achievement. Again, if not, I've got achievement. I've got um, timestamps in the comments section below with something that you may have missed. So, just check that one out. So, quickly get behind this next bit so you don't get... Your ass don't get blown to pieces. Right. <clears throat> there are a couple of gunk spitters here to the left of us. So, what I would do is immediately just try and get rid of these gunk spitters. Because you don't want them blasting your ass. It's not good. Um, I kind of rode my luck right there. But, and also another thing. The laser does kill some of the other enemies as well. So, the laser, as much as it can kill you, it comes in handy as well to kill other little buggers. So, behind all that gunk and where that gunk spitter was is the next, um, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus, getting all excited, ooh, um, is the next switch, so grab that. Again, you have to do the switch from the um, be beginning to end. Right, one more to go, keep going. Again, a lot of alien DNA about if you still need it, by the way. Keep going all the way. There are two alien gunk beasts, but again, you can keep stunning them while you get rid of the gunk. But they will actually go and attack. And again, if you get um, in the way of the laser, the, the, it'll kill them as well. So, just like now, you're going to see... <laughs> hey, that gunk beast get blown to bits to death. Right, again, just keep scanning that gunk beast. He's kind of chilling, apart from being dead and that. So, um, pull this last uh, lever switch, chain switch, and... Woohoohoo! Right, attack the crap out of the gardener, and that is game's end. Get in there, boys! We are done! And girls, sorry. I forgot about you, lovely lady alt. Boys and girls, we are done. And that is how easy the final gardener wiener knows boss is. Just one more big cutscene to go, which I have left in the game, because it's a it is a nice one. But that will be the end of that. Um I mean, to be honest, if he, without the shield, he went down kind of pathetically, didn't he, really? But uh, I suppose that's what you want in a boss sometimes. Ranny, you and your big chin have done it, my honey. Now you can finally afford that razor for your eyebrows. I bet you're well chuffed. I can't say much, mind. I, I'm uh, sort of half ginger and half grey. But we're not going to talk about my eyebrows for now. <laughs> we are just going with the end of the game. And that should be now the end of the achievements. The last achievement should unlock right now. Or maybe in a bit. Hope we'll be able to launch one last time. 
like the most resourceful person I know. We've got this. <laughs> All right. Let's get to work. And there she blows then 17 out of 17 achievements so again if you do have any problems still in terms of the upgrades or you don't have enough materials or there was an item that you potentially missed don't forget to check the comments section below because I'll have a timestamp with everything in it uh, just go through each one and hopefully you should find what you're looking for but hopefully you followed the guide enough and that my annoying COVID related voice <coughs> um, didn't annoy you too badly that you could just crack on and you went along with the guide and you've got everything unlocked. But there we are then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. This was a really, really outstanding game and I enjoyed it thoroughly. And I hope you did too. And I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And share with a friend as well. And don't forget to check me out on my socials. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Patreon. And again, a big, huge, massive shout out to everyone on patreon who continues to support the channel honestly your support just means the whole world and again everyone who interacts with me on the daily your support is is blowing me away as well so thank you so much to everyone and that'll be that little bit of dialogue is going to happen credits are going to roll but that is that so thank you again so so much guys and gals i will see you in the next game pass challenge game ba 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 big love no doubt but it won't be the first time we've lied to the authorities We'll cook something up. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? A phantom quantum bolt erased the ship's data, and we only managed to recreate everything except for the location blocks. What the hell is a phantom quantum bolt? I don't know, but it sounds cool. Okay, okay. Uh, we were loading titanium ore on Celeb Luna. But the ice was too thick, and the cold destroyed all the hard drives. Would work if Celeb Luna wasn't owned by Stella Enterprise, Inc. Damn it! They're everywhere! How about one of these, then? We, we, we lost our cargo in a meteor belt and had to sell all detachable tech to make it back home. No? Okay. Uh, we got stranded on the uninhabited side of Mars, and a terrible sandstorm destroyed our drives. Uh, we got poisoned, and the substance decreased our intelligence by 50%. And thus, we can't be held responsible for our actions. Plausible. If they examined our brains, they'd find you actually have less brain cells than most people. Oh, but they'd find my brain is still above average. Haha, <laughs> very funny. I give up. Why don't you come up with something? All right. You talked me into landing on a shitty dead space rock. Then you roamed the wasteland for days in search of who knows what. We ran out of fuel, and I stripped the ship of everything that would burn excessive energy, including all loose tech. Eh? I then navigated us home using an old star map. And you have now promised to write poems praising my greatness, one every day, for the rest of your life. Hey, not too bad. Except the part about the one poem a day. I mean, no one would believe I pledged that kind of commitment. Good point. Maybe we should just pretend to have severe memory loss. Last thing we remember is a green fog filling up the cabin, and after that, nothing. How does that explain the erased logs? The fog made them evaporate? Oh, it's gonna be a long trip home. <laughs> Isn't it?